Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, dog. I'm wearing white pants if that helps. Does that help the cosplay? I had to put on the little CEO taco merch, man. This year's merch is fire. <laughs> it was, it definitely was. Uh, all over it. No, all, everybody that was involved in that did a, a pretty ridiculous oh, job. Wonderland. All right. But Speaking of ridiculous jobs. Absolutely. Looks like we are going to get into the first match here. So it is going to be Aeonian, just like you said, coming through. Other side, the Gatorade? Gatorade. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> look for that crouching M there. Bust the release. OK, here we go. Bionic Arm. Oh, does connect an X-Factors right away. When you look at the team comp here, this is definitely the one you want to pick out. And I'd love to get to see. I love Missile love coming through. Love Missile. <laughs> That makes me miss TNS, but where is he, man? Uh, he's at home. I thought about bringing him back, honestly. Off the grapple, missile. Oh, can't quite confirm it with the H. Yeah, a little missed opportunity, but it doesn't matter. The overhead comes through for the second time and is able to get the OTG. Dude, the dog is putting it over time. Honestly, the dog's faster than the bionic arm. He couldn't even catch him. Ooh, okay. Almost got the cross under. Still okay here. He's just going to block it out. Doesn't want to risk it on the bionic arm. There is X Factor, so you can't be too hasty. I mean, you already know the deal. Akuma, X Factor level three, definitely can take out a whole squad. Definitely. Oh, that's a great call of the beam, though. That's one of the most like fundamental things in Marvel that you always have to remember to do. As you can see, when Aeonian calls his assist in that spot, he just blocks. There's no reason to overextend, no reason to do anything crazy. Beam can, will do the work for you. There's no reason to risk a happy person. I mean, that's why plasma beams are so strong in this game. You know, literally, like you said, you can play very offensive and use it to a defensive advantage right there as well. Oh, a different start on this one. OTG with. How often do you get to see OTG assist with zero? I, I'm about the Samurai's Edge, man. He allowed the M Lightning there for a little cool extension that we don't get to see so often. Got the drop combo, though. And in. Playing it a little slow. Wakes up with Bionic Arm. That was a good bait from Dr. Gatorade. He kind of understood the situation there and jumped up so you don't have to block that thing. That's a release, Maya. You yeah, already know, it's one of the strongest in the game. Aye, but it doesn't matter. Gets a clean hit straight afterwards. Gonna be able to walk it all the way to the wall and should be able to get the kill this time here. Phoenix right, definitely an integral, more important to this team than you think if you haven't watched the play before. Once he gets it going, man, it's extremely hard to stop. So you gotta get the kill here. Buster release does it though. Like the Phoenix is dead, Maya's still like, I got the homie going. I'm holding the Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Mike Unite coming through with the Prime. Thank you very much for the first time sub. Thank you again to everybody who's been coming through with the support. As well as Bob Clausen. <laughs> Let's go, that's Bob. A, that's a respectable <laughs> name. That's a solid Midwestern name. Bob Clausen, I appreciate you. All right, here we go. So Genmu here for Dr. Gatorade. But, you know, Aeonian's just going to try to jump around, but getting smacked a little bit. Got to look at the hard tag now. Mm, gets a hit on Akuma. That's really smart. Goes for the tag, though. Was, I think he's going to try and go for the OTG into the super, but he not have any meter. No, not going to happen there. Aeonian has to make something happen while you have to X Factor. This is a hard hill to climb just with two characters. Oh, jumping heavy. Gets a confirm, but goes for the wrong command dash. Missed opportunity with Framecraft with the assist, and then trades again. Things are getting very scrambly here. Gatorade, he's got the electrolytes. He's still in here, keeping Ooh, himself safe. I see you. I like what he did there. He did a, a level one Buster release frame trap with this assist call. That was kind of godlike. Here we go. So Ganmu trying to lock him down, and the chip does add up here. Oh, there we go. Still gets him with the Buster afterwards. I mean, that is just textbook. Slow and steady, even with the drop combos. Every time there was a drop combo, was able to kind of reset things. Didn't overextend. It was looking really good. Yeah, he did it again, man. Level one Buster release, call assist, make sure. But here we go, Aeonian off to a great start with the throw here. And just like we saw in the first game here, Aeonian's gonna do whatever it takes to take the kill and a little bit of anime mix up here. It's This is why Marvel's allowed at CEO Top. <laughs> it's an anime game and Aeonian shows it up. He hits you with the unblockable with the dog, <laughs> man. Missile coming through, you know, doing the thing. Here we go, Zero is out. Zip finds the hit off the beam. A little modified Coach Steve action. Oh, absolutely. Here we go, about two meters here. Gonna get OTG. No, he's going for it. No, he didn't have the assist. Just went for the knee DM. I wasn't able to set it up from there. But like I said before, Aeonian, one of the things he's known for is amazing confirms from the top rope. He does such a good job. Oh, yeah. He'll go from uh, coast to coast. Man, with those. And the cross under Plasma being able to get the side switch as well. At the bomber, this should be enough to kill. Damn, 
being uh, put away and the perfect boot two to one. Aeon, great answers back. I love Spencer with Missile Bill. That has to be one of the coolest assists. He lets you know because he barks too as he's on his way out. My boy, my boy, like Shushu, bro. He, he garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Zip, zip. That should do it. Is able to squeak out the armor pierce as well. Just a little bit of extra damage, you know, just because. Yeah, absolutely. As you should. Take, take, you know, get the meter positive while you can. Here we go. Maya brings in Phoenix Wright, trying to get the evidence, but RNG is not having it. That was kind of disgusting on the cross under man. Able to make it happen. Crumple State, another side switch from Aeonian. Try set up unblockable overhead with the grapple, able to make it happen. It's just so hard to deal with right there. I mean, you're not used to seeing a Spencer Phoenix right, and then Aeonian's hitting you with tech you've probably not been hit by before. Okay. Missed time to meet actually, but Nakuma gonna come in with the DP. Has a little chance to go for a mix-up afterwards. Demon? He's gonna get Demon instead! Oh. The X-Factor still doesn't save him. And for the overhead, Plasma Beam saved Aeonian there. He activated, Maya coming out, able to make it safe here though, but you can't do it. He's just telling the Akuma to read and there's a plasma beam falling up right behind it. Could be it for Aeonian. Okay. DP should win out here. No, it's the invincibility ran out. And Maya's still swinging at Aeonian. Gonna take that 3-1. Yeah, I mean, that is just the uh, the type of consistency we can see from they're continuing to pop yeah. up. Yeah, right and shout outs. Violin came through with the $10, uh, $10 to the match arena there. So that goes to all the players. We appreciate you. All right, let's get it, though. See, I was going to say I hesitated, but I should have said it. Storm, Storm. Is the, Storm is the other thing I think of when I think of Luna these days. He's been playing a ton of Storm. Storm's like the forbidden love. It's like, you know, you really want to play it, but you know you shouldn't. And it's like, yeah. we're going to play her anyways. Storm's god. I feel like she, oh, no. OK, luckily, things kind of work out there with the missiles, so it's OK. I think uh, Storm's like lacking a little damage or meter gain, uh, and then she would be like a super top. The scaling on her, um, her just her normals and stuff like that hurt her really bad. Her super does really good damage, and an awesome happy birthday is uh, cool there. Absolutely, and Doom coming in. I mean, Doom does have Tatsu behind him. I think this is an underrated pairing, but you don't see it as often just because you don't see Akuma as often. Oh, for sure. But I mean, it's still it, one touch with Doom. You can still get the Team Hyper Super, and it's going to do a lot of damage. But. You're not going to get to see it because Zempel got the very clean hit here. And Zempel, I actually did just notice, Zempel's on the Dante again. Um, see, my man knows. He knows. This is, uh, this is something that we haven't seen as often from him. He's been using it as a counter pick quite often, but it's. Uh, I'm not sure if he's committed to it full time, but we're seeing it here again. Mostly it's been... Oh! <laughs> oh, <Bruh. laughs> oh, wow. There we go, million dollars. Okay, right before the Hado. At least a little bit of chip here. I mean... Like you were saying, Jam Session is a lot better than Ryu, Tatsu, or Fire. Uh, 100%. 100%. I mean, jam Session's got One of the best assists, if not the best assist in the game, definitely. Uh, and uh, Deadpool's one true pairing. They're just, they're made for each other. They're, they're good, they're good buddies, let's be real. I mean, <laughs> what was he said? Uh, Gold Pilot was like, yeah, he saw Wedge do some work there, so I don't blame him for going for it. Okay, a lot more damage here. Okay, he's gonna fall out eventually. Yeah, there is a set amount of time that it's allowed to be out, gets the trade, but he can't get close enough. Quite Bolu, Bolo, okay, look for the super here. All right, Luna has to play this slow and get a clean hit here with the X-Factor. Get one of those happy birthdays, you all know. Like. Just so hard to catch Deadpool with Dr. Doom, though. And he has two assists that are really hard to happy birthday. Tatsu pushes out so quickly, and if it trades, it sends you so far back. And Jam Session is Jam Session. Yeah, you already know, man. That's the pillar of rock. It's going to catch you. Yeah, so here we go. Back with the uh, guns. Oh, cross under quick work Tatsu here from Zenpool. That just hit at like the perfect spot, but a little too far on the DI from Jam Session. Not going to connect. See, it's like one of those things where Storm wants to approach from the air, but it's very hard to when you have Jam Session. And when you get to the ground, you have Tatsu to clear the space. Quick work underneath. Okay, Pineapple Surprise and a quick thinking with the air throw from here from Zempel. Grapple, things work out with Tatsu. A little too high for the snap, though. And Luna with a great confirm. I love it, man. Off Tatsu for it. H foot dive. Easy confirm here from Luna. 
Yes, level three. That should be just enough to get Deadpool out of here. I right, got the kill here, sets up the missiles, looking for the mix up. Okay, good jump out from Zenpool, not getting clipped there. That was a very tough mix up to get out of. And H teleport, good back off, looking for the end, but the foot dive is always going to win out there, especially the foot dive is so active in this situation. All right, an easy X factor for Luna, pushing the corner. Now it's all up to Akuma here. Like that, sets up the trap, goes for the super, and is gonna shoot up Akuma, but a great punish. Luna, an Akuma player, somewhat of a Goki himself, oh, knows yeah. how to punish these things. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Hado, don't beat foot. There's that, evens it up. Ground start throw, definitely not gonna be able to kill, but I mean, tends to be able to set up some good situations here, maybe look for the snap. I mean, it at least gets you meter positive, you know, going into the next touch. Ooh, right, that's. session again. See, it's hard for even uh, Storm to attack, like, contest those. Like, you can't move around those gunshots. They're too good. Okay. Let that through. Not going to get too much here as Super comes out. Oh, Jam Session does connect. A little bit of damage, looking for the low, oh, the instant overhead, but goes low off the empty. Able to connect here with Storm, push to the ground, should be enough. I love that, bringing him right back into the missiles here and clean it up with Hailstorm. The H does connect as well. There we go, easy X Factor from Luna here with the hard tag. This should be enough to clean it up here. No problem, I see you, buddy. I, ca I can't do anything right now, but I will talk to the right people. I see that you message on Twitch too. I can see the notification at the bottom of this thing. I got you. Yo, Hailstorm. Okay, looking for the S. Dive kick, too strong, brother. It is way too strong. We go look at the Hado here. This is uh, one of those areas where Doom can kind of get away with, but that was the perfect use of the Hado there. Yeah, had an opportunity to spend another bar there, but would rather look for the mix up. I definitely respect. Jumps up for the chip, but it's not going to get there. And what a punish! That was perfect. Dude, Luna again. Like I said, somewhat of a Goki himself, knowing exactly where to go to be able to get the punish and is able to kill. Let's go. I, I, the timing on the uh, Super Jump M was perfect there for me. Answering back super strong. Right now, Storm is kind of the sauce here, man. Okay, going with the lows, missiles. Easy confirm. No, okay. He's trying to look for the reset there, but the office tag wins it out. Gets the tag because of how low the throw was. There we go. Luna has a lot of meter here. Okay, going for the snap. Didn't feel like he can kill there. Going for the mix-up. That was disgusting. Couldn't quite finish it, though. Man, that's going to cost him there. Off the dive kick here from Zample. Able to confirm. Oh, no. Player two. No. Zanpool. Match on, bro. Puno. Puno will come through and be like, you, you all talk about Pokemon. Right? Oh, my God. Let's see it, though. It's going to be Monday once again, like we said. Wesker versus Nova is annoying. I don't. I think that Nova does fine in it, but it is a, a personal uncomfortable match for me. I just. I think Wesker's really good. His play. mobility yes. is what gets you because you can commit to a dolphin kick, and Wesker can get to the other side instantly. Here. But not gonna matter right now. Monday able to secure the first hit. Gonna be close here. Kidman coming through with another uh, the another gifted tier one. Thank you very much, Kidman. Appreciate you. Oh, still alive though. He would have been a genius to that chip, but it does not work out the way he planned. Ah, I mean, Mundink had the right idea, for sure. He might be super, almost able to get it. One more, looking for the jump gunshot, but the EM disruptor is just too fast. Oh, that TAC does no damage. <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I think it's all on Magneto. Magneto, at least OTGs, but you're not going to get a lot of damage off of it. Super. Oh, almost. Yeah, able to get the extensions here. Caught Magneto, Mundank, able to get him out of here and keep the Spencer alive. That's huge. He almost lost him in that situation. Pop and kick. Good side switch from Panda. Okay, Virgil definitely has the comeback factor here, you know, level three. But there it is. Crouch M, X Factor from Mundank making it happen here. Definitely going to be able to get the 
kill here and close out the first game. Shout out to my boy Crone Explosion coming through with the prime 29 months. Well, I said mundane too. You definitely ain't wrong. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. Chron Chronic Panda just gonna take a minute. You know, like Monday is such a fast player. It's kind of nuts when you first, like, if you ever played him, it's like, you're kind of like, whoa, that guy moves kind of ridiculous. Shot up close for the game disruptor. And it's an overhead here for Monday, making it happen, though. That was a, I think that was a pretty clean hit. Should be able to kill off this. No, he's going to go TAC. Yes, just to ensure and build some meter. Now we're in the infinite. You already know the deal when it comes to this. He's pretty good at these, man, so especially on Parsec, so I definitely, you know, I say, like, I feel very confident that he ain't going to drop it. I have faith. Yeah. The, the man gets bored. I was waiting. <laughs> I was literally waiting for it the whole time. I'm like, I'm not Oh, gonna my God. The man gets boring. Things work out. Is able to get to kill five bars on deck. Switches back to the Nova. And that was a clean wow. escape, actually. But you get punched, though. Yes, there's the X Factor. Able to confirm from the top off the air. H. Actually, really like that, too. He waited till he hit the ground, and then the X Factor and super dumped up. You can X Factor in the middle of that and dash upwards, but you've if you've already used your dash, it is impossible to be able to confirm from that spot. Yeah, and keeps you safe as well. There you go. Swords booted up. Got to watch out. Speed tackle coming through. Okay, Panda's out. Elm Breaker's in. Oh, no. The drop, though. Let's him get away. Oh, I was Monday. Ridiculous. I thought Panda had that throw right there. Me too. That or like potentially like a stinger or a launcher afterwards. That was a really brave assist, but brazen to say the least from Monday. <laughs> was not expecting an assist in a spot like that. All right, right back into it. Let's get this Wesker started here for Panda. And that's a great way to get it going. What a beam call here. It's the teleport team, Hyper Super, looking to get that assist. And that's huge for Panda here. Oh my god, but there we go. Finds a touch. Still has the Nova, which is the uh, Nova with Spencer. You, yes. still, you still got some resources. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, most of the time you can kill off just about anything here. Unless you're, you know, you got a lot of health there. You definitely can. One problem though is that you don't really have an assist. Like you have an incoming assist, which is good, but after incoming, you're not really calling either of these two individuals. It's hard to call it there, but see, right now you're taking care of the Magneto. Now Panda's losing Ian Disruptor here. Right. Yes, Piercer able to make it happen. Bionic Arm does connect as well. No more ADK for your problems. Hey, if you're feeling confident playing it solo, sometimes combo assists uh, are just good enough. I know Mundane feels very confident in his mix-ups. Oh, cross up there, and then yes, just like that, the tech chase so fast. Yeah, so if you're tech rolling in either direction, if opponent, if an opponent is moving fast enough, they can get over your body. Yeah. So Nova, uh, I, excuse me, Spencer is only able to cross up in that situation because they initiated the tech roll. It's so ingrained into my DNA at this point, I, I don't know if I could ever not know. That's, it's like when me and Tong will pick up and play, like, <laughs> it feels the same. It's just my neutral goal. Like. Oh, but up the start. Press again, aggressive here. Beating up the assist and is able to find the air throw, but has to X Factor. But if this can confirm, which it does not, I think that would have been well worth the X Factor. It, it's definitely, ooh, Magnum connecting here, though. Great confirm from Legend. Lucky, lucky that sent off the shot. Yeah, but he definitely has to kill here. Yeah, Dante's back. My boy said, let's rock. <laughs> Oh no, teleport, Stinger does hit. Mm, missing that Stinger actually is such a big deal. Puts him in a bad spot as big meat make long huge. Or you fit, buddy. Homie. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Oh my god, appreciate you coming to the sub, man. That killer B? Yeah, I gotta love it, man. There we go, able to make it happen. The only thing that uh, is pretty rough with Dante is he doesn't do crazy damage. He does good. But it's not ridiculous. You know, you can kind of, if you got gun moves, you can net up anywhere up to 750. So, Edie, you're exactly correct. This game aged like a fine, like a great cheese. It looks so good. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. The tuber. Oh, yeah, the ice does freeze up Hulk, but he is able to still escape. Has a full team in order. This is a surprisingly reasonable situation for a Professor, depending, like, seeing what has happened. Oh, magic. You know, the only thing I got out of that sequence was is that was a big-ass ice cube on Hulk. 
the chip here. Okay, drone set it up. Confirm off the low here for Professor. Should be able to kill. And that's like the one redeeming factor about this team is it can one touch you just about anywhere without X Factor. Ooh. And it kind of has to. I think that's one thing we talk about a lot when we talk about the big bodies is that the big body team needs to maintain momentum by getting a kill off of every single touch. Here's that last DHC. Oh, gonna yeah, shoot smoked him up. Him. Smoked him, yeah. Got the first set of the uh, hard drive or the hypercent, of course. I just want to point out again, Professor J still has the whole team. Still. That's actually huge. Hey, you need the whole squad to fight sometimes. Oh my god. And a great block there with the Lariat. We're gonna roll some dice here with the uh, with the hard drive, but it does work out. Beautiful placement of the Lariat, like you said there. Able to get the extension here, and yeah, got it with the Sentinel, man. The mix up. Okay, Dante's out. Dante can definitely work against Sentinel, but the problem is is Larry. You really have to be careful with your box dash H's and your hammer placement. I really like getting Hulk in this spot too. That's well, okay. Yeah, Homebreaker does connect. So a little crystal out there. But yeah, but Titan is a factor. Gotta get something right now. And you know, the one thing is you're gonna get aggressive. <laughs> And you can't get predictable with your teleports because it is throwable. You are vulnerable the entire time. At oh, Ooh, okay. Yes, sir. Not enough, though, but I like that. Well played, Professor Damn. J right there. Professor J is just pushing his rock up. The He's pushing his boulder up the hill, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Every character's alive for so long, and he grinds it out. Oh, boy, Holy. <laughs> I'm running up that <laughs> There we go, Gamma Charge, X Factor for Professor J. Now we're, ooh, okay, we're gonna X. And then start. TJ. Yeah. Damn, okay. Ooh, okay, popped out, good tech forward here. Ooh, off the teleport! Okay. A little extension. He's out, he's out. Oh, super gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, this team does hella damage, man. He gets a tag, too. Our tag right in the Hagar. Look for the air command throw. Crystal gonna. Crystal's actually pretty good against Hagar and standing M. Standing M anti air is definitely a case when you know like uh, a jump pipe is coming out. Hustle AB, things are pretty good. Appreciate your back. Let's go, Hustle AB. Good to see you. Yo, go. shot on the way down. Flamethrower looking for the frame trap. Oh, okay, good tech at the bottom. There it is. The tail end of the Lariat clipping here. Oh, no. A little bit too much hits on scaling, but it should be. No, misses the charge, too. Two big misses. you got to get rid of Chris. Yeah, you definitely do. I mean, out of all of Legend's characters, Chris is by far his best character, I feel. The most annoying. He's so good with it. Oh, and the stare down. Knew he wasn't have, gonna have to spend the extra bar. Gets the hit and goes for wave because he's not in the corner. That's smart. Yeah, you look for the fadeaway gunshot, man, and he got you caught. It's on the way down, reverb shock, a little bit of chip. That's smart. Yeah, that's very smart. I mean, literally any type of stinger and reverb uh, fireworks does ridiculous damage as far as chip goes. Yes, the vortex are air raid. Now this is all you got to play, man. If you, anytime you can get some air raids on him, get the chip here. Hagar is really hard character to approach with Dante, unless they come down with like Stinger or whatnot. There we go, playing it right. That kid, that's exactly what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, whoa! No. He had no faith. That was scary. He of little faith definitely could have had that work. Ooh, gotta put it. There it is. That should be enough. With no meter. I feel like this is very even. It's doable, especially with the time right now. You just need two clean hits here. Professor Jade, same thing. You know, two clean hits, maybe one at this point. Third loss. 16 seconds, still plenty of time. Gotta watch those teleports. They are not safe, especially if you don't have anything co uh, covering you. Ooh! Oh, no, but misses the jump cancel. Super should actually get the hit. On the kill though, no and way. he teleports and gets the hit. I don't think you build three here unless you're insanely optimal. He has to reset. Okay, get some health back. This is definitely the right call here. Uh, I don't think it's enough. It's enough! Oh my god, Dude. that was so godlike! 
I don't even know better. Living legend, the perfect spot to use the DT to get the health while you're, dude. That was that was godlike uh, situation right there. The extra damage bonus on the. I didn't think it was gonna be quite enough. It didn't enough. feel like I, it. I thought it was gonna be a waste. Damn. Here we go. Chris getting started very early here from Legend. Yeah, go for the snap here. Bring in the Lariat. Man, this is giving you the most issues. I'm surprised they didn't Magnum there. <laughs> wow. Nice air throw. Argon coming in the clutch here. <laughs> oh my god, he does it again. Are oh, you serious? He grabbed the shotgun. <laughs> and he knew he was high enough for the extra extension. The snap comes through. There we go. Larry the Evo winner. Yes. <laughs> that that setup is really rough. It's all depending on timing of when Hulk jumps if it's cross ups or not. Yeah, and Akuma, not a lot of health here, so that's in a great position going into Dante. And it's very, it's... Oh. H on the way down, able to confirm here. Yeah, just cash it out, get him out, whatever it takes. Yeah, that's the most important part about big bodies. They, they need all three characters to stay super relevant here. Hagar, definitely the next hurdle. Once you get through that, you got a pretty easy trek through with Sentinel. I say pretty easy trek through, but... Chris TJ has been kind of nasty with it. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's definitely shown that he's a fighter, man, and this is a bar fight right now. Okay, look for the super. DHC out. Definitely the right call here. You're about to get scooped by the mayor. A good attempt at the SPD. That's definitely the best call if you were actually going to be able to get close enough. Ooh. Vortex on the way out. Definitely the right call. I think that super was an execution error. That's super unfortunate. Prop Treader is going to scale it heavily, but he might be able to X if he wants to, and I wouldn't be surprised at he all. He wanted it right there. Sometimes a million carrots has a lot of startup, so you really have to be really good at the timing. Ooh. That was tough. 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 I that was love tough. that Legend had the go, like the go there because the assist was already gone. It doesn't matter. He gets the clean hit again. TK hard drive. You're killing all the sex vector time, too. There's a lot of added benefits to this. I don't think it's enough to kill, but still. Reset and fly. Great throw. He he should be able to convert off this. If not, get the kill. Hysteric. No, jet stream was not it. Just back anything off. Chips. Anything chips. Hysterics. Actually, anything chips. Just hysteric. Oh, hold no on. Legend. No, there's actually no way. Ooh. I Whoa. love that you press there. I love that you press there. You gotta know that Legend is willing to press in spots like that. I mean, Chris doesn't have many options, man. And sometimes you're expecting what, like, uh, jump command throw or anything or meaty. This throw takes so long that all the drones go by through the animation. There we go, cashing out, bringing in Hagar again. No, going after Sentinel this time. Hard drive for a little bit of damage, snapping as well, going after Akuma, tired of dealing with Natatsu. Surprised to not see him X Factor in that spot. Does get the tag though. Confirm? Yeah, you cash that out. You can X this, but I don't think you have enough real estate to get the kill. It's gonna be close. Maybe. Yeah, I still had wall bounce. It was early. Yeah, he got enough. I, I know nothing. There you go. Tatsu, oh yes, off the flamethrower here. A lot of damage in a row, gets the snap. We go hard drive to the other side, not trying to eat any of that. Oh, off the Magnum though. I feel like you gotta get Hulk back in, but how do you do it safely? Uh, you could spend meter though. Yeah, there you go, hard drive, bring in Hulk. Uh-oh, but Legend had the read on it, but no, Professor! He hits him clean on that. Not what I wanted to see. Good stare now. They look for the dive kick. Watch the H. They look for the frame trap and goes for the throw. Okay. Go hard tagging the Hulk here, cross under. All right, off a of jump, Stinger is definitely the call here. If you see them jump, oh, never mind, you got air to air stuff here. Legend making it happen. He's gonna try to keep it to a level one and not use three. I mean, at that point, I mean, Sentinel doesn't have a lot of health. 
the costume. That was like one of those ones where like just cashing it, you know, Sentinel does not have a lot of health. Okay, you're gonna have to get out in DT as soon as you can. Step over. Oh. Oh. The blocks. Not quite enough to threaten Chip either. Like even two beams and a rocket punch is not enough. Yeah, you gotta. Oh, oh, he's ready. You gotta be so careful how you teleport though. Again, that has been like the uh, the double-edged sword of this. I feel like he's gotten so much mileage off of teleports, but Sentinel has also been killing him with air throws. On these. I mean, that was like a godlike uh, reaction from Professor Jake right there, man. Looking for the throw. And again, with Hulk able to catch, but Flame Grenade's gonna save you out here. Okay, puts it down again. Jam session as well. Keeping Hulk at bay here. Goes this chain sides. Flame Grenade's gonna save again. I love how Legend is uh, adapting to this matchup with the Flame Grenades here. It kinda allows him to get away with whatever he wants almost. And no, oh, Larry gonna clear it up, but the Flame Grenade again coming through. Right, give him cash out here. That's enough on Chris. Oh, what a throw out of that. Able to catch Dante in mid swing of H. For the hysterics, definitely the right call here. All right, trying to keep him away with drive, trying to bait the Larry. That was definitely a right call there with the double jump, and Killer B's going to clean it up. Okay, has enough here. Should cash it out. Level one, yes. All right, you have a few options with Hulk here. Hey. That is a great one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hulk, I guess, way more. His options are way more unlocked when he gets to the ground, but in the air, ah, he's the same as everybody else. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a little, it's a little wider. Sometimes he's got to watch for those H's. Sometimes they'll let him rip. All right, Sandal, definitely look for the hard drive here, but allowing him to get out for free. Doesn't want to lose Dante off of the level, like, mini setup or what he's going to grapple there, but you're not going to catch Sentinel on the ground too much. Okay, jump into it. Going to force X. No, didn't do it. Skydance almost got you in trouble there. I think Legend is really okay, kind of playing with the lead here, not giving him away. Okay, X Factor from Professor. And right back, DT. He's going to get punished. Oh my god! Flies on in. Backs off a little bit. Dude, the anchor battle is really tough when you don't have any meter against Akuma like this. He can just commit to DP and stop you if you try to go for really anything. He's waiting for the X Factor to run out, then he's going to let a Hado rip. Oh, he got scooped! Not quite! Oh no, Legend's gonna get it. Oh! <gasps> no way! And he gets a standing light. It's just not enough to kill, but you've got yourself in a really good spot. Just gotta watch the dive kick. Oh! oh Legend no! flies too close to the sun. He gets underneath him, and there's a frying pan waiting. Oh my god. Brian Pants? Jesus Professor J was cooked. You can't just come back with a Professor J instead of a man. Hey, come I on. thought it was close. I got mixed. TJ is not real. I got mixed. <laughs> you were fired, though, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see it, though. Like we said, it is going to be Nick Bad. Captain America versus Nova. I know that I'm just the, the ultimate Nova apologist, and I just say that everything's annoying for Nova. But Cap bodies Nova at normal jump height when he has the right assist. You uh, keep him on the ground. Really annoying to fight against. I mean, Strider definitely helps. He keeps uh, Nova out of the air as well. But here we go. Deadpool on cleanup duty in just enough. Professor, you got me. Professor, we just had a guy named me. Professor J and TJ come I, in and play. I, I can't do it. That's that's too much. That's that's me. You guys are too good. Gets the TAC, is able to get the capture, and should be able to get the kill off this one. So after a little bit of boring, we'll have to see how Mundek is able to set himself up for the mix. I think we definitely tag the Spencer. Spencer's the way at Deadpool. I don't know. Maybe Magneto. It's not like Doctor Doom where he has a hard time, you know, getting around there. Magneto's a little fast. Shout out to Mint coming through 25 months, even the day after your happy birthday, Mint. We appreciate you coming through with the love and support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, 
Bro, he is just going out of his way. I don't even see the amount of money, but that's big meat coming through. Appreciate you for the, uh, for the extra money into the match, Reno, man. Thank you. He's going out of his way. <laughs> no, I already know, because sometimes you want to go through the YouTube and just hear us say it. It's like, bro, it's kind of funny. It's, it's funny. Kind of funny. Every once in a while, I listen to VODs, it happens. Maneuvers should be enough to kill here. Deadpool going to go down all up to the Strider. Doesn't have three bars yet, though. Does survive the incoming due to an error uh, coming up for Monday, though. Oh, no, but Monday so fast on his feet there. X Factors goes up to the grab right after the double jump. Strider, glass bones, paper skin, easily. He's just, he explodes. 750 is rough in this game, bro. I'm going to keep it real with you. I feel like there's a lot of characters that accidentally do 750. There are some supers in level 2 X Factor that just do 750. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it's rough. Spencer without meter probably kills. Go clean hit here from Mundank though. Tap on the other end of things though. Obviously not lacking in the health department. Does get the snap. And the left to right is just a little too good. And normally you see him X Factor there. He doesn't even have to get the Strider. Strider has no health. Man. Just clean up two bars right here, man. Call it a day. You got rid of Vajra. You know, like that's that's like one of the things that's holding you back, especially at Dark Anchor as well. Okay. Get the tag. Is that the pulse? That was a really tame mix. Able to get out. Javelin, anti-air, able to connect. And what a confirm from Mundank here. Hand delivered. Just that easy. That was same day shit, bro. And the TAC <laughs> to boot is able to get. Oh, my God. And he gets maneuvers off of that. Ouch. Oh, too much damage. That pull is out of here. Up the cap. This is, this is a rough one for cap. Solo cap is not great, we'll say. I mean, he does get one big commitment with the super. Tough to see. I but might not even get an opportunity to use it. Yeah, see, he doesn't even he didn't really get a shot. It's hard, man. You got to let that charge and start rip sometimes. For the 33 months, thank you very much. Appreciate Let's you. Let's go. Oh, that was really, OK. Nick is playing too respectful. Kind of disrespect Monday. Monday went crouching LMH and flew and cap just down back. You got you are Captain America. Put your chest out. <laughs> Charge with the doing. shield. There's so many things you can do, but unfortunately he's just getting tap danced on. Okay, Bajra does connect. This is good for Nick Bad. No hard tag and an easy punish there with the end disruptor. Rotom, come to the prime five months. Thank you very much. I like Pokemon. Not spelled the same way, but oh. maybe. Oh, yeah, it's oh, yeah. There you go. The kill is going to go to the snap back in. Yeah, X Factor Stand H does connect. Oh, but just get the right in his, right in his chin. I mean, Deadpool got a tough chin. He do. He do. No amount of chin can protect you from the amount of damage he's taking, dude. Oh, right into the shield or the pulse. Able to connect. Speed tackle. Yes, he got it. Monday. Pulse, looks for the overhead, and then chill. Backs off, uh -oh, backs up Graham. a little too far. Graham gets punished. You can just see the start up there. That's the only issue is you're already out of X Factor. This Strider that makes this happen, man, you need at least 15 hits. Yeah, and Orbs is not going to be helpful when you've already seen the human rocket punch rushing towards you. Bro. It's too quick. It's too quick. The start up of Graham. It's just a little. But it's time. I already know I'm about Viper action around here. See how the matches play out, though. The star of the show on the opposite side. The dog is crazy. Tommy? His Ami is very strong. He also is a very good Chris. Like I said, Viper. I think Viper also is really good against Amaterasu because she has to jump so high to do her assist. Uh, Optic Blast kind of clears. Ooh, OK. Magnum clears. But this is going to save out here for Carlos. Team Hyper Super. Following someone's lead this time. Wow, he actually sniped there with Okami Shuffle. Had time to block. Blocks out both of the metered options there. Really nice. Goes for the air there, but doesn't get too much. King Carlos falls into the Molotov, and he still gets the pickup. Okay. I see what Jumpman's doing. Hook it. Cross under Flame Grenade. Pulls out Wesker just in case. No way. Yes. The side <laughs> switch when you hit him standing, it oh. does freeze them to the ground. He drops the combo, though. A combination punch, no pu uh, punish there from Carlos. But you do have zero. 
Like you can, you can, really, you can get crits, right? You can't oh, get crits. Dude, nice confirm. King Carl's a valiant effort in the end, but it does not work out. Jumpman is gonna get the first one. I really like Carlos's game plan, though. It's just one of those games you get hit and things kind of fall over. That's just that's Marvel. I, I love this game. The Viper is so great. The Viper zoning, I think, was very very smart, and I actually really like the angles he was taking. Cold Star is actually genius because now you can look, you can combo off throw like no problem, and it sets you safe for another set or a mix up. Dash underneath and did get the hit, but that was a really tough one to confirm. You know, it's like one of those things. We don't get to see Ami that often, and you forget how good Cold Star actually is. And with the Team Super, does a lot of damage, even from full screen. Normally, you just get Super Jump Magnum in a spot like that. You know, we've been playing this game forever, and I don't ever think I've seen Chris Ami play it on the same squad. Oh, it's only here? That's what's up. Okay, using the Busters to great effect to close the distance, but the Flamethrower actually buys a ton of real estate in response. And the Jumpman here, you're content to slow it down. Uh, you, he has to come to you. You have such a huge life total using the OTG. This is crazy. Needy, okay, and Cold Star able to catch here. X Factor snap. Jumpman. <laughs> Oh, but he missed Level the back. I forgot LND had Ami on the team. That's my was bad. It? Okay, that's me. That was me. No, I agree. Oh, that was so far. Gold Star trying to waste out the X Factor. Almost got the punish on Ami. And perfect. Yeah, but Doom is going to get smoked. Oh, maybe now, though. Yeah, has to fall into the flame grenade. Does get the trade with the foot dive, but there's just too many explosions. Too much happening on the ground. What do you even do at that point? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like super puzzled by this. This is like really awesome to see. And I think King Carlos is making adjustments here with the Sogen with the start. Trying to get some sort of pressure and does off the missiles with the command dash low. Definitely the call here to get him going. And starting zero too, you know, change it up from the Viper. That's definitely a great call. You get Chris out of here, it definitely helps. But now we get to possibly see Ami. I haven't got to see him solo because Chris has been doing the work. Okay, brings in Wesker instead. Wants to keep Ami in the second slot. Wow. That was such an odd thing to have happen. Wow. Did the ball bounce off of it here and is going to send the level three casual missile from the pocket. He's got a large inventory. I love Wesker's level three. Are they for the teleport? No, not necessarily. Oh, Jesus! No oh my God! Okay, looking. Carlos got a chance at offense in that spot. Starts to focus back just as a threat. Oh, oh, and the juggle right there. A little bit of damage on Ami. Good call from Carlos here. Mm, the gunshots are just barely beating out the optic blast here. Again, I really like the Viper zoning ideas from Carlos, but that man just taking shots in all the right places. And then jump, jump medium super? He, what? Uh, yeah, he knew. He was committed to the aces. This hits. Oh, no, Jaguar kick. Perfect spot. Needs the X. Yes. Phantom dance. Slow it down. Get Ami in with slow down, possibly. No, keeps it safe. If he goes for Ami slow, he almost always hard tags after. It's like a weird left right, but he doesn't matter. He gets the jumping heavy into the super. And the DG, no, is not going to get there. Okami shuffle. Okay, keeps it safe from far distant. X Factor is running out, puts up the traps, but not going to matter. And did connect. Oh, and got another tag here and just shoots him up for chip. That is a really well informed type of thing to go for in that spot. Down forward heavy repeatedly. Imagine, good to see you. Yeah, you're definitely good to see you, bud. It's, uh, it's a little disappointed we didn't get to see you play this week, but uh, you know, that's how the stream queue goes sometimes. If I had control, we'd have more young listeners. You know, you know what it is. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see it, though. Jason Kiddo. Woo! I actually found the headphones really early into that one, but doesn't get anything for it. He said, Remy, are these the guys you're talking about? <laughs> Damn. Clean hit, goes for the X Factor. I agree with this. If, when you're playing against Aeonian, I think that whatever it takes to kill Spencer, it doesn't matter. Any amount of resources is worth it. Oh yeah, for sure. Spencer is definitely, uh, he has all the gas.
Okay. Oh, good air to air. Trying to get Magneto out of the air. Okay. Nah, with the throw, that was smart. I mean, Phoenix Wright, another one of those things. Once he jumps, he kind of gets himself into a bad place. Not much he can really do to kind of uh, kind of answer in that spot. Oh, there he goes, yes. Tempest, should have to follow up with the um, Saki player, no? Sets up the super, goes Photon. Definitely going to hit the worm. A lot of damage there, trying to cash out on him, though. And Shockwave will definitely clear screen. You got to save your home. Yep, the disruptor. Slowing things down. Oh, what attack. I thought he got him. Play right. like, Clears. Dude, patience, patience kills, but doesn't have an opportunity to really spend bar there. Didn't want to like overcommit with meter yeah. and not get the kill. Even though it is solo Phoenix, right, potentially at the end, it's still worth it to just kind of meter your resources, especially when you're playing a, uh, a Dormammu team that uses one bar so well. Oh, right into the Lariat. What a call from Kiddo. Playing to keep away, and this is more of it. That goes for the surge, gets one bad piece of evidence. Yeah, look for the chip here. Shockwave. That'll do three. it. Yeah, I mean, at that point, Aeon, you need to he control knew, it. He knew, he yeah. said, if you don't use it, you lose it. So. <laughs> oh, what a headbutt. Able to catch right there from Jason Kiddo. There we go. Push to the corner. X Factor, like we were talking about earlier. Just whatever it takes to get Spencer out of there. I mean, he is what makes the engine run for Aeonian here. All right, Stockton player still on the table. Try dash light overhead, able to connect here for Kiddo. The push forward here, going to need the two bars. It's going to be close. There it is, able to catch him right there. Got Dr. Doom. Jason Kiddo's on a tear right now. That thing's definitely been looking good for him here. Going to set himself up to spend some bar, but snaps instead. Okay. Off the layer, able to connect for Kiddo here. This is huge, Jerry. You get Phoenix right out of here, all you have left is Dr. Doom. Got this. Yeah, it's on the clean up there, able to be enough. DDM disruptor right into the dark hole. Right now, Kiddo's just playing out of his mind. Photon tries to slow him down right in the sweet spot, trying to force an X. You seen that? Yeah. Oi, just a hair away. Had the exact right call with the jumping heavy, but didn't quite get high enough. I mean, right now, Aeonine still has the X-Factor, so there's still a chance here. Just gotta watch some beam calls. How do you put him down? Oh, oh, he crossed up his super. That's definitely not what he wanted. And the Lariat trades, but it's gonna get a good amount of damage on Hagar. That was really good patience from Aeonian there. Could have went more on Hagar, but just obviously knew Magneto was not gonna let that happen. Oh, foot dive does connect. Here we go. And Hagar's on half health right here. You know, one clean touch at bubble three should be good. But approaching him is so hard. Aeonian was trying to go for some very tricky stuff there, but didn't even have the opportunity to really get to it. There we go. Saki player for the finish right here. Jason Kiddo on set point. Fight! Now, if they don't even get the Spencer going, this is a different story, I truly believe. I agree, but that's a big if. The headbutt couldn't find it. Let's find the pipe. Doesn't turn into anything, though. Oh, there it is. It's like you, you felt it. You knew it was coming. Absolutely. I mean, when you see Hagar on the screen, you know there's only one. Th oh, Hagar's only want one thing. Though. And it's disgusting. It is. Get out of there. <laughs> I don't blame him, honestly. All okay. right, chicken guard. Yes, perfect punish here from Aeonian. Perfect up lap, up back for sure. Okay, with the zip. Double. Oh. No, the double up grapple okay, he's misses. He's back. Great adjustment there. Goes into light grapple. Able to get him before he pops out. All right, up grapple. Look for the setup. Okay, stand light again. Able to make it happen here for Aeonian. And it's like we we're talking about is about getting Spencer going, and that's what's happening right now. Okay. Sets up the maneuvers. He's got the extensions. He should be able to get him out. Yeah, Dorm dying, definitely big. Leaving down the anchor Magneto. We've seen it so many times for Kiddo. 
I feel like people underrate his Magneto a little bit because they know him so much more for the other characters. I mean, all three of his characters are bad, like, let's be honest here. But you can't sleep on it. Here we go, another shock wave. Okay, X Factor Force here. It finds the low. So efficient. Ooh. Gets the launcher. Cross under S, man. Too strong. Level three. Here we go. Jason Kiddo might be able to make it happen here with Magneto. Oh, H on the way down. And with hey. the low light. Finds the legs and is able to make it work. That is going to be Jason Kiddo three games in a row. Incredibly well played. Damn. Good <laughs> stuff for sure. Brought it back with the Magneto, man. But it was like one of those so, Oh, uh, I sure. think he has super high potential. I know he's been playing uh, other games as well. I know he's been dipping his toes into... Uh, he was an okay Strive player. He's doing pretty well. And he definitely uh, gives his feet into Street Fighter a little bit. So we'll see where that takes him. But for now, let's see if Nova can handle business. Nova is not oh, handling business. Nova is handling... He's never handled business <laughs> in his life, man. Oh, man. Zero is handling all the business now, man. Got Magneto and Nova. One touch right here. Got to keep it simple. Get the Sogenmu loops here, and you got the two for one. And that was the hardest part. You got the kill right there. You had the little freeze up, and that was right there. There we go, Sogenmu setting up for the next mix up. Trying not to let Spencer hit the ground. Bionic arm. Okay, he's out. Oh, there we go. Mundank is back in. Getting the clean hit here. That's, I mean, this is how fast it can go. Look for the late zip. Oh, and tries to up back again. I feel like that was a helm breaker in the future. All right. <laughs> so here we go, man. If Hawkeye can get away. Hawkeye's, I say this every time we see Flocker and every time we see Hawkeye. Hawkeye's oh, press 100% of the time on incoming. They There's always not much press. Do. They always press. Damn, what an answer, though. Great for Monday to be able to kind of stifle things out. I mean, Flocker looked really good at an early happy birthday, and he's back at it again. Deja vu. And yeah, this is, I, I hate to use the same line twice in a row, but I feel like I've seen this movie before. We just watched Spencer is Zach, Spencer is still alive. And drops because of the slowdown. The slowdown of the character dying kind of messes things up. Different ending this time, but, you know, we still in there. Director's cut. <laughs> Who does director's cut? Yeah. Look for the chip here. Got to watch out. Hard does it. Having Virgil in for the incoming, misses out on his incoming, but gets the standing factor. heavy either way, and you know the X Factor is coming. Whatever it takes, you already know. Like it was the next, it was uh, game one where you could tell that Blocker X Factor so can moved up to where he did not want Spetzer to touch the ground. That's how much respect he has for that character. In Absolutely, I mean that's Monday's probably strongest character, and also definitely his best comeback character. So you gotta get so those good. out of the way. Almost, arrow, almost did it. Almost went for two. A very close situation. Ends up working out well. Just a release. Look for the dolphin kick. Got some pressure. Okay, the instant overhead light. Able to get it on the way down. Oh, the fade away, but it's just far enough. It's still able to pick it up. Extensions, as always. Happy 200 bottles of Dasani, everyone. <laughs> Glad you all can be here for this monumental <laughs> occasion. Yeah, this is the one you gotta be careful of, man. Oh, oh no, that's cross up, catch. cross up, cross up. Yeah, he goes under you with the bionic arm. So sneaky, man. Two button tech, able to catch off the low there, but drops the combo. I don't know the lid. Not for long. I think Blocker was a little late on pressing his button there. Obviously, uh, Virgil able to cut through projectiles in spots like that. So Launcher potentially could have gotten the Spencer out of the way. I think maybe just a little hesitant or a little late on the answer. Okay, last time we had the meaty set up here for Monday. Ops for Magneto. Gimlet? Okay, X-Factor. Oh, no throw. Dude, was still perfectly positioned to be able to find the touch. Going to build up just enough bar here. No drops, but it doesn't matter. Okay, good block from Blocker, Stan, and the start it. Thought he's gonna hit. He gets a bar out of him, actually. He doesn't have squeeze now. What a and block. gets the air throw. Look at the patience there from Blocker, able to just walk up so slow, make sure the uh, OTG does connect. The grapple, okay, forward. 
Keeping him away, trying to stand M. Oh no, he had the air and so did Munning. Dude, both of them kind of whiffing out. Oh, this is getting messy, messy. I like them both looking for the, oh my God. Trying to play footsies with a standing medium. He's playing footsies with a bionic arm and he has a bow. Look at it again, stand M. That's definitely it, looking for a grapple down low, able to catch him with the low here. Damn, so Monday gets another one, two to one now. Definitely starting to get the better of this a little bit at a time. That was a, uh, a scrambly, messy end of it on that I love one. It. I'm, I'm here for it. And that could have went either way with that situation. All right, let's see, I mean, Blocker has started it off with some happy birthdays there. And it's not going to be the case this time. EM Disruptor cleaning it up here for Monday. Clean hit here. Should be able to get zero out, no problem. Here we go, DHC. Yes, more than enough. All right, now this is the one you got to watch out for here. No Helm Breaker, EM Disruptor, the super jump H on the way down. Okay. Down to the final character. Oh, try to flip pass, get the jabs. Hey, Should be enough. Yeah, with the DHC, absolutely going to be enough here. So there you go, Monday. Gonna be able to knock that down three to one. Consistent speed, integrity. Other words you can say about people that are positive. Monday, he exemplifies all of them. On the box, first box, 50% off. Thank you. Let's go. Chattercoin. What else couldn't be better? Chattercoin comes through with so That's what couldn't be better. Yeah, he's eating again. He's in there. He thought that he could just wait until the match was on and I wouldn't expose him, but he's eating again. As we get ourselves started, got to find him the touch, able to go for TAC and going to try for the infinite here. That's looking good at the start. I had to get a few more bites. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, man. Got some LT action for you. Once again, I don't think I've watched Gutty play as well. And LT is playing Magneto. A little bit of a switch up here. I've definitely seen him play this before. Uh, and it definitely worked out for him, but... Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And shout out to Nano, UMVC3, coming through with the Prime for 12 months. Appreciate all the love and support. And Duke, a jersey with the Prime, 27 months, man. Y'all are ridiculous. We appreciate every single one of you that come through here and spent Fridays with us. All right, look for the teleport here. Oh, what a throw here from Gutty, though. And this is pretty good. You got the Shuma Virgil comp, and you got Morgan, the kind of battery of the team. Okay, DHC or uh, TAC able to get the infinite started here. This is definitely a good look for Gutty right now. He said, I don't even have to use the assist. I can just do it off the infinite. One more rep, should be enough here. Rod Tronic, Allen coming through. Or in the channel, we appreciate you, Allen. Thank you so much. Hope you're enjoying some Marvel tonight. Because I know I am. And then die crazy hard, give him two. Coming back again? Oh, I, I literally ran out of it. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Guys. Yeah, again, thank you to everybody who's out here supporting, man. We appreciate y'all. Okay, X Factor, look for the command throw, and Gutty right back at it here. He is not going to allow it to happen, and we got the level four from her. Rest in peace. <laughs> the finish up is Shattercoin comes through again, this time with the two gifted tier ones. Shattercoin, man, thank you. All right, LT gonna go to his stuff. I already know what you're thinking. You have that ancient proverb already. Play your stuff. Yes. <laughs> that was only for you. <laughs> he looked me dead in the face and shook his head and said, yes. Okay, took the round trip. Way back, but it doesn't matter. The dolphin kicked the back of the head. Not even Virgil. Handle one of those bad boys. Hey, everyone can get it. 
That's the one deal. Here we go. LT pushes the corner. Definitely has enough to take care of Virgil here. You already got to see the Virgil do the work with the whole team. So now what can you do with just Morgan and Schumer? Oh, there we go. Great throw here from LT. It is off a of grab, though, so the scaling is going to be a little bit here, but you have Spencer in the back, so this definitely should kill here. Extensions, yes, level one. You're going to bring in the Spencer. Looking good for LT here. Extensions, OTG. Yes, more than enough. Man, that team just does so much damage. Jabs, able to confirm. Oh. It's so weird off of Shuma because of the way he like falls down to the ground. Uh, definitely is. is. That ball bizarre coming through with a 10 to the match, or, you know? Nah, the 10 no, is that's a straight no no. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate you. I can't read the message because I'm legally blind. But I appreciate you. It was so a much. bounty. It was a bounty. I didn't get the If you type bounty. whatever that is in the normal chat, I'll read it. But it was too small for me, sorry. <laughs> gets oh. the connection, gets both, and is gonna go straight for the X Factor. Okay. You got them both? Yes, that's enough. LT, great position. The rocket punch again just because mad casual. I like that. Backed off. Felt the X Factor coming here from Gutty. Yes, able to connect. Yes, here we go for LT. Like the hard tag. We saw a little bit of the scaling there. Get a little bit more damage. Built a three here, and that should be enough. Yep, DC is good. It just, even there, it felt like uh, Shuma was going to fall out. It, did. it always, it always feels like that, it right? It always uh, does for this guy. Like, visually hitting him, it's like he just wants to fall out right away. He tackles the start, look for the cross up. Asma Beam, okay, just got Morgan. Luckily, only gets one there. I like using the flight, slow you things down, but has a great dash underneath to kind of reset the situation, put yourself in a better spot. That was a great use of swords as well, man. TAC, Gutty got one earlier. Here we go, but this is going to take quite a few reps here. I mean, you're going meter positive on this, and you can take Nova out here. That is a great look for Gutty going into Spencer here. And then now you already have, if you can go through the whole thing, you got Virgil batteried up, man. So, like, you can literally run the Swords game as long as you want. Yeah, messy stuff. LT going to have just about three bars, but he's going to live, actually, no! and he's going to use the red help for the hit. Oh, my God. Someone in chat said it. I'm going to steal it, man. You give this guy an inch, he takes the whole arm for him. He did. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Give him a hand. The arm's coming off. Taking the shoulder, the rest of the body. So you can have my red health. It's worth it. Ouch. There we go. Able to connect here. Good blocks on the low, but not from the grapple. Man. That just feels like cheating with that assist. Definitely does. Zip, zip. No, no. he tried to quick You try to do that? Come on, bro. Goody, you better show him what's up. I'm rooting for Goody now. Yeah, let's go, Goody. <laughs> Round Ooh. trip, kills Nova. Okay, that's good. I don't know. I think you kill Spencer, though. I agree, but... It's, it's like another one of those things. It's like LT is so good with all his characters, but his Spencer is absolutely terrifying. Okay, got the hit here. Often for the sword loops. Okay, one more. X, yeah, you got to. But again, you still left Spencer. He's going to come in, he's going to get a look. If his feet touch the ground, you know what's coming. If you can get a clean hit here, you can definitely kill. What a block from LT, though. Trip, keep it on him. Same side, and he caught the whip button there. You just can't whip against Spencer. Easy bionic arm. Got to go oh. for the cross up in a very weird way. Gee, oh, no. no. All three of those hits, none of them. No! LT, you boom. That's a flag on the play, <laughs> Are you serious? Come on, man. You should man. have seen him. When he, he was like mid-thought, and he goes, ah. <laughs> Samurai's edge. Oh, man. 
Oh, that's Camonte, though, man. Yeah, this is Ethan. Man's been on fire, dude. Land. It's just they. It, it's hard to. It's hard to get hype about Chris when you can see the looming Titan of Escalante in the distance here. This is gonna be. A, oh no, not a great way to start though. I was gonna say this is. A, there's high potential for this to be a little messy for Chris because obviously Magnum is great for clearing fireballs on the ground. These air fireballs kind of change up the pattern and kind of make him rethink how he's gonna approach his own projectiles. Yeah, I like how Escalante is doing. Throwing one at the 45 at the super jump height and then one straight across. So it's like. It covers both sides. Shell kick, able to get it. Should be able to kill Chris here and take some meter. Ugh. It's a way to have this start. Check the fireballs on the ground. This is part of why Ami's so good in this situation. You can only reflect the fireballs in front, but does a great job of reflecting those. So you just you just hold it through Astral Vision and then you're good. Missiles, quite confirm. We go another astral vision start up here for Escalante. Going to go in the slow down for Jumpman. Perfect spot to use it too. Yeah, not able to combo off of the slow. Gets the raw tag. Light on the way up, almost confirmed. This feels like it's got to be one of Wesker's worst matches. Oh yeah, hands down. Like the gun, your gun is just not nearly high enough projectile dur durability to really be useful. Projectile counter is a cute little way to potentially try and steal some turns. Escalante's ready to block in a situation like that. Spray confirmed, finishing shower. Definitely enough here for Escalante. And Ami, you're going to be forced to X Factor on incoming. Yeah, I might have to go for shuffle here, too. Uh, too potentially blocks all the lows. Oh, no way. Oh, it transitions that into the infinite. I like that. Slow down. No. Oh. oh, my God. Missed out though, tried to go for the jump up, does find the connection, not enough to kill, twice in a row, not enough to kill. Okay, now we got X Factor on Escalante's side. All you need is a little bit of chip, and there it is with the EM Disruptor. Damn. That was terrifying. What's the dog doing? I mean, the dog was doing some work, to be honest. It was just unfortunate for X Factor actually. Right now. A DJK coming through, appreciate you with the Prime, thank you very much. And again, to everybody who's been supporting tonight, definitely a crazy amount of support. Thank you to everybody. Still fireballs on the way down right now. Jumpman's doing a very good job in the neutral, kind of navigating around the Astro Vision, or the fireballs. Now this is the true test. Can you do it while she's all installed up? Okay, just reach up over. Okay, a little bit of a good job blocking out, but again, it's all about how much meter she's gaining, and she's finding little touches here and there, which are really going to add up. Ooh, until he got hit, that was a breath of fresh air for a second. Just a clean confirm here from Escalante. Okay, going to the slowdown. Keep the dog in, but wow, Escalante presses. No, that would have worked in not slow, but the slow changes your combo route sometimes. Oh my god, TAC is broken though. I think in slowdown, you just gotta keep that LMH, right? Yes. There we go, Astro Vision, gotta get on me out. Good hard tackle to jump in. Had time to tag? You're already holding it by the time you're down there. Oh, that double soul drain though. Earned him a full Astro Vision just because that one real interaction. Okay, trying to keep the delay. The one thing Wesker does have going for him is he has good mobility with the teleports. He just can't really attack Morgan that well. And see, now Escalante has no meter, but does not matter. Clean hit on the M on the way down. Oh. You were looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, slow down. Giving you an opportunity to just get the touch, no. and he links it. That is so sick to watch, man. Jumpman's Ami is ridiculous. Left, right. That's basically the Evo winner. No way. Into the infinite. Just built it back to the ground. Just built one more for slow here. Okay. Wow, what a block, though. I think Ami versus Doom is, like, relatively hard. Like, projectile counter helps a lot. I mean, right now you're just trying to move forward and let Escalante waste some of the meter. The time is a factor at this point. 
Yeah, I mean, you can't just, like you said, you can't just sit back and projectile counter, even though it is a really useful tool in that spot. You gotta do something to try and get aggressive, but it looks like we're gonna change the comp. And like I said, he did play Omni Point before. Okay, very used to it. Put the Wesker on the anchor here, set it up. I'm so excited to actually see Point Omni here. Come out on top. Go for broke. Fight! Reflect off to start with the Astral Vision as well here from Escalante. Okay, S oh, it does connect! Does get the launcher, gets a little bit of damage here, but doesn't get him too much else. Slow down, okay. Does connect, but not. Nah. He's gonna be able to confirm that almost. Definitely would have been able to if it wasn't for the missiles. They saved the day once again. That's another thing you don't think about when you switch to this team. If he gets the two bars, he gets to follow my lead. Yes. Follow my lead is so strong in the early days of the meta, man. A lot of players use it. It's still so strong. It's just meter is at an all-time premium these days. Two, bar, <laughs> two bars for not a guaranteed hit is, is tough. I mean, at this point, I mean, if you're able to play neutral and hold out a little bit longer, you're going to get a look. Right now, Coldstar is building a lot of meters. So is Jumpman with the hits on Dr. Doom here. Oh, happy birthday, Evasion, if that's true. <laughs> yeah, we're happy buddy. birthday, happy birthday man. Let's go. My, tr my trust is hurt from people saying it's people's birthday in Twitch chat because they just be doing it. But Evasion, happy birthday, man. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's like that's like rollover birthday, so when your birthday does come along, we're already in there. That's true. Block for that. Team Super. Okami Shuffle should clear the fireballs. Oh, Magneto's getting smoked right now. So is Morgan. Oh, and getting Morgan, that's the most important part of this. Magneto, next one in, he's gonna try and dash, I think. Okay, missiles on the way down. Good evasion here from Escalante to get out and force his X here. Oh, and missiles actually didn't interrupt the way they thought they would. Watch out, you're in chip range here. Looking for the hard tag, Escalante is, but not gonna happen. I can't believe that actually connected. Okami Shuffle and it confirms because the missiles. Yo, jump man. That's off to Doom and Doom. Looking like he might not get a chance here. Still okay. With the back off there, okay? Let's take a little bit of the chip. Game is definitely in your favor here. And we know this game all too well. Get just aggressive enough to make them spend bar. Is the is the goal is Omni. And the best part is Omni can go under plasma beam, so you can't even touch the game spam. Up and swap, slow it down, keep them safe in the air. Time is a factor here, and Escalante is looking pretty close to the lead on that one. Oh, but losing out on a bar and a decent amount of health on that one is tough. Oh, His setup. So scary. Look at the time though. Seven seconds left on the clock. If we build up another Okami Shuffle, I think the game automatically ends. Okay, Super Jump. Oh, what an S down there to uh, get to the other side of the screen. Air to air, light. I don't think we have enough time for this. One second, has to hit him immediately. Misses! No! Gets away, Jumpman on the board. Escalante was so close. That, I don't know how you play that better. That was a crazy jumping light from him. Jumpman's off so good. Right, redirecting with the S here. That's the one thing is Morgan's able to build a lot of meter there. So the longer you let Magneto kind of run away, he's gonna have more meter for Morgan when she needs it. There we go, Shockwave able to clear here, but then Escalante back to pulling the meter as he should. Great, great, uh, great choices there with the S on the way down, knowing the S was gonna come from Ami. Disruptor, we're gonna bring in Morgan here. Yeah, especially when you get the Wesker, so this is a really positive matchup in Escalante's favor here. Just trying to build a little bit more, does connect, and a loss of meter there, that's pretty rough. Ooh, cute, confirmed. Misses out on the full, like the full opportunity, but it's okay. Away, get the jump light, and just reset things. Content to chill, chuck the fireballs, play the game he knows he wants to play. Oh, there we go, good push guard there, able to get out, gotta watch out, she's still in Astral though. Okay, 
is going down. Good blocks from Jumpman. Playing it very patiently here. I mean, Morgan has no meter, though. Butter gun. Oh, what an air to air fireball from Escalante here. That was so much. He did so much there just to get a push block. That was so sick. He got me. I reeled back in my seat on that one. That was godlike. Wow, double teleport into the raw tag for the overhead. Keep a meterless. Looking good for Jumpman here. Escalante's X Factor is running out. I hit him on the ground. It did. Yep, cash one. Get her out. All up to Morgan here. No, got to cash two. Well worth it, though. As Every long time. as it kills. Every time. Good air to air right there for the weapon swap. Oh, and you got to watch out. Amy has three frame lights. She's quick, bro. Yeah, he's mashing the crouching light, but it does not work out the way I think he wanted it to. Gets the OTG with the OTG assist, bro. I just... Tommy Shuffle, man, being so strong in that situation. And Jump, man, is tying it up. We're off to a game five here. All right, Fireball, easy Astral. Sends it right back to her. Return to Sender, I see you. Uh-oh, not looking good here for Jumpman. And again, definitely big deal. Knocked down. Ooh, taking the meter as well. Morgan is already almost primed for another Astral Vision and is. Okay. We take those. That, well, that was a good jump back. That was cute. And back to the fireballs. Super, super. Get him out, yeah. Wow, Dr. Doom went all the way over there. Shadow Servant definitely clears. Has the full invincibility. Oh my god, but he barely makes it down and is able to get the low. And even Jumpman having like the resolve to like keep the delays there on the end, the light on the way down. The you, baby. Yes, man, patience. And they don't do that. Come on, man. But shout out Sander though, 41 months. Snap goes through. Goes back at the same time. He's willing to chill. Escalante, even behind in this spot, doesn't want to overextend. I really like this call. Weapon swap, keep it safe. Yes, great call from Jumpman. Slow down, even if you get hit, still got to eat it. Now you bring in the faster character. Oh, X Factor S. Missile save out, though. Okay, chipped him. She's so hard to hit. Oh my god, and the X-Factor cancel finds the touch. Here come the missiles for the OTG. Now just one mix up away from potentially being able to take it, finds the touch. Can you finish? Oh yeah, level three. Jumpman's ridiculous, bro. Wow, able to do it. Jumpman, impressive one to take over Escalante there. Escalante too. Again, I liked a lot of his game plan. I actually think overall he was playing really, really well and oh, yeah. made it 2-0 so quick. It's like one of those things, at least when it's cold, you can layer up. Yeah, that's true. All right, here we go, though. Onto our last qualifier. Kiddo versus Yuli. Okay, get to see a little Yuli action here. I'm always about like a wild zero play. And it's a great start here for Yuli. Even Young Legend said, "If I, I don't even know what I do while walking to 76 degree house. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that first chat. Right there. <laughs> You're oh, waiting. Oh, God, Joey. Oh, God. That's a great first chat. Hall of Famer. I was waiting. <laughs> Missed out on the DP lightning. Still okay? Oh, oh, no. Not nearly as okay as he once was. Jesus. Finally, you ain't as good as you once was, though. Nah, I mean, he's still good. He got burden. You do. You're good again. <gasps> The light on the way down. Kiddo misses his, he mixed, he mistimes it. And then he gets mixed on his own mix up because he put himself in a really weird spot. That's why I love Marvel. It'll be like that sometimes, man. Here we go. Round trip. Got the swords and the DT activated. Good tech at the top. 
Uh oh. That's, That's funny. But... Oh my God! A little bit of foolishness here from Yuli. Working out. That's a one. That's a one to zero. We'll take it. Honestly, I just wish he would say that to every character. Just say foolishness and then put their name in. There we go. So again, we started up here. Dark hole. It'll connect. Oh, jam session saving out here for Yuli. Dash under, look for the Buster release. Air to Air H almost gets it for Kiddo here. DHT. That's cute double teleport here, but Yuli is, oh my god. It's the stalking player just ominously following you the whole time. And he tags? He tags in Virgil? No! He gets Larian? Oh no! And right now, Jason Kiddo's tagging out Virgil. <laughs> it feels like so much bad happened right there. I hate when you, can I be honest? Just me and you for a second, no yeah, scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate when he tags in Virgil. Uh, I wish he would just not, just I wish hold, he would just, just chill, hold. just chill. If you're gonna say, tag, tag Don. Say, so close man. the gate. <laughs> close the gate, bro. But unfortunately the gate is wide open and Jason Kiddo oh, said we're storming in, baby. Hey, are we coming, open the gate? <laughs> we coming for real. <laughs> oh my God. One on one. <laughs> what? That's a World of Warcraft character that says the gates are open. <laughs> what is that? Production looked at me because he knows. He said they're open right now, bro. <laughs> Tags in Virgil again. I feel like you should chill. I think he just likes the matchup. Maybe you can just opt to it. I mean, you did lose that match there, but not going to matter, man. Able to confirm here for Yuli, and that's a good look and look for the TAC reset. No, and we go for two. All up to the Maverick Hunter. It looks like it might be. Man, looking like Steph Curry, man, hitting from downtown, man. Oh, yeah. Every time. Sets up the stalking player. You get the hard tag here on Hagar, man. Hard to blockable incoming. Is that Caster's Curse? I feel like that's Caster's Prophecy. I just said that was going to happen. I mean, I'm not oh, playing. No tag merge. I'm oh. not playing. <laughs> <laughs> Two to one. Jason Kiddo gets the, uh, the standing heavy at the round start. Isn't able to find the throw, though. Okay, I'm trades trade down a weird way. Things are okay. Yuli gets the priority. K medium lighting doesn't get too much. I mean, good Kiddo, movement. Yeah, I was going to say, Kiddo did a good job of wasting all this so getting me out. All right, Moriam Disruptor looking to try and find him, but right now, Jason Kiddo is moving so fast. It's actually hard for Zero to pin him down. You already know, man. Yuli is uh, very good at using H Lightning and TK Mediums. And that's what he's looking for. And Jason Kiddo is just moving so fast right now. Kiddo is just, he has a plan and it's EM Disruptor. <laughs> it is working. It ain't broke. You don't have to fix it. Stalking Flare, one pillar, keep it going, and it chips out. There's still Stalking Flare. It's still there. It's Doesn't matter, still, still there, still coming. He said you can't bring him back. Tagging Gorm was so smart, though, because he hits him and the flare goes away. That was, that was actually amazing. <laughs> Yuli, bro. Dude. That, that was it right there. That was godlike decision making from Yuli. That's the hit and gets the Stalking Flare out. That was Gorm out super here. smart. <laughs> Brother. Look for the stand M there, hard tag. Okay, see, look, he was waiting for the he Hellbreaker. Was. He learned from the last game. Shockwave, Dante might die. Oh, he's super dead. Hey, Dante must die mode. That's the hardest difficulty. That's yeah, close. I think he kind of lives on that difficulty. Probably. <laughs> Ooh! Austin, the Hellbreaker's still okay. No. Nice push block, though. It looked like it was going to be over at that point. Almost hard tag in the Hagar. Good dash under S, but here comes a pipe. I can't believe he pushed S in the air in a spot like that. Whether it's pipe or it's or it's lariat, you know that Hagar is doing something that's going to beat that underneath you, a hundred percent. It's it's like he doesn't have air movement. He doesn't have like uh, mobility, like John Talbain. Okay, yeah, yeah, I like those dark soccer. All right. Up oh, press TJ, back up again, face off against B-Man though. This is about it. the only worst draw I think you could get as a Morgan. Because Hulk into Deadpool is just, this is just a nightmare. Yeah, B-Man, he's, he's very godlike with the show. He can definitely make it work. Oh yeah, I said, I definitely pay attention. That That's awesome. They look great, at least the Nero I see. Over. 
Oh, good bait on the Lariat yeah. there with the Pineapple Surprise. Yeah, Crouching Light into the Pineapple Surprise is just like super high level, kind of covers a ton of stuff. Uh, it's just, I don't know, that's just like standard Deadpool at this point for the high level. Super jump at the top. Good evasion for Demon. Not taking any chip at all here. Okay, pops the teleporter there. For the pineapple surprise. Gotta keep Hulk away, man. Once he's in, that can get dangerous just like that. Professor TJ coming through. Hey, I mean, two mix-ups to go. Dante, not as important that we get Dante. Hawkeye has to go immediately. He tries to go for the command, though. Work out, snaps as the punish. Cool. Great stand M there for Dante. Man. That is definitely one of the buttons you want to use when Hackart is in the air. Revolver coming out. Okay, a little early on the uh, mix up. Pistols, stand H, Weasel shot. Okay, almost could have had it in the frame trap right there. Hey, teleport was a really interesting way to deal with that. I don't know that I've seen people do that I particular seen teleport that. before. That was a not like That's option huge. for me, man. Yeah, stolen. Stealing that, yeah. Stealing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Triple arrows, got the scat arrow, got an X Factor to keep the Hawkeye safe here. But now no more meter, no X Factor of your own. You're not going to get another opportunity like that. Yeah, right now you're opting for the chip right now. I mean, you can even throw a hard drive out there if you want. Or Team Hyper Super if he hits the ground. He has no meter. Uh-oh. Yes, level three. Not going to connect, though. They oh, were at the ground no. in time. It's not even close to killing him, but still, this is bad. Don't even rock a punch. Just chase him down. Oh, okay. Hard drive to the corner. Okay. Extensions. Going for the reset. D-Man. Not asleep at the wheel. Great throw. I feel like in that spot, if you're going to go for anything, TK hard drive is definitely the right thing. But I think you just kind of plink it and try and chase him down. Just look for another mix. It's scary, man. It is. I mean, Hawkeye doesn't have like very long reaching normals. Stand in is probably one of his best ones. You dash forward, put some uh, armor on. Wow, jumping light for the fuzzy stuff. Instant overhead, man. It's so messy. And it's rough because he's such a big character that the fuzzies are a little bit easier to do. DHC really late here, but it should still work out. Definitely the right call. It's the tag, and it's a mix-up is auto-time. It's too cheap, man. Easy X Factor here for B-Man. Going right after the Sentinel. I like this because you take so much momentum when you take away the second character. Uh oh You jump. Ooh! He you saw it. Yeah. You saw it. He wanted the command throw at the top. I, I mean, I think Professor DJ was actually thinking right there. Happy, happy trigger. Delaying on the way down. Look for the pipe. Oh, hesitation kills. Maybe could have gotten the touch there. Hello for Back to the other side. Jam session as well. I mean, B-Man's doing such a great job in the neutral here. Oh, my! That's all you need. That is the most violent of axes. Holy moly, not what I was expecting in a spot like that, but it works out perfectly. DHC. Not quite enough, I don't think. You can snap, though. Oh, it was That's high enough. enough. I didn't think it was high enough. Able to do it, man. Hard tag in the Hagar. Keep it a meaty counter hit headbutt. There we go. A little bit more, get some of that meter here. Push back down to the ground. Plasma Storm. Should be enough here. Oh. You gotta hit him right away. He has so much bar. He cannot get away. He's away. Oh, he's super away. He even has a really good Hawkeye. Though. Look at that, so fast, no fear. Don't miss a slide though. Okay, push away. Definitely the right call here. I like that. Eventually, if you don't have a point where you can switch the sides in neutral, you just use that super. This, is, this feels rough to start right now. <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is, in theory, is not winnable. Sentinel should not. You are just like rocket punching and hoping that he is committed to something. That was a good sneaky crouch from medium, too. Big press. Locks there, chicken guard pushes him away though. He's pushing the corner. Oh the command my throw. god, dude! 
Oh, Professor TJ? Get as much damage as you can. Look for one more touch. Clutching it up from the low. Needs it right away, and that's not going to be it. Level three, and we're not pre oh, No, the oh, time was yeah, already yeah. out when it hit him. I will, oh, I, that was terrifying. Wow, it was so scary. I had to stop myself because I I'm know. like, the level three connected? I don't ever think I've seen a sequence like that where it actually hit still, and the time was already out. I actually don't know that I have either, now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, that was rare. Push guard out, pressure is adding up. Drone follow up into the command throw. What thinking from Professor TJ? Yeah, push block one too many times. Look for the command throw again. Armors through the projectiles, gonna cash out on damage on Hawkeye. Oh no. Almost had Hawkeye dead rights right there. Yes, X. Oh, he has to DHC. Same Same punish. punish. He just waited because he can get a, like a standing M right there and help with the scaling. You definitely need it for all of Hulk. And having the DT activated, you got the 10% damage boost. It was going to be close. Hey. Okay. Venian's doing a really good job. Hawkeye is already almost back to half health here. Now you gotta run for your life. Or oh, not. You know. Turn things on set when you can. I mean, that was how we hit the lottery last time. This time, no lottery drawing required. Able to just get a clean touch. There it is. Great for Professor TJ here. Look at the pipe. Good block from B-Man, though. Got some hysterics. Almost got an air there, though. I feel like Drones is so good to call against Dante, too. This is really all that he has to commit to this to really beat you for drones. A trade out at best. I'll say a trade he'll take. I got session as well and a confirm. I was going to say, had him in the corner, still was able to walk him down a little bit at a time. Things were looking very good, especially with that meter stolen. Things are getting, oh, it's getting hairy quick. Just for the air to air. Not even scared of the hard drive. Out. Oh, not in time, actually able to keep him in it. Oh, watch those air M's though. Sentinel's very good at knocking out of the air. And so is Dante, apparently. Jesus. Oh, missed out though. He's weird when you go to uh, S to like prop shredder yeah. or um, to like stinger. It, it's, he's hard body, he falls down very fast. So you gotta be very tight with him. That should be enough on chip though. B-Man should be able to do it. Really anything. Oh, he V canceled too. Oh, that's not what you wanted though. Uh, crouching medium rock punch builds the bar. You got it, yeah. That, I've seen players. that amount of damage players. so much. <laughs> I love it. Five seconds left. Command throw does connect. You can't do enough, though, I don't think. You have to reset him. You don't have the meter. Oh, oh it's not no. enough still. Wow, what an effort, though. I don't even know if there was a point where you could have reset him good enough to be able to get the touch again, though. Shout out to Luc Lucifer coming through 29 months, by the way. You already know what it is. Marvel on Friday nights. We appreciate you. Yeah, it, it, it's like one of those things that hurts for Sentinel, him not having a level three. Like that, that, I think that's very huge in this game. The looping hard drive is a great way to spend meter, but it's super easy. Especially when you're playing full 99 seconds. Yeah. Great confirm off the jam session with the Bolo. Should be enough to take care of Hulk. He definitely has the meter here. Cash is out. Jam session, good double jump out. Here comes the hard drive, the B-Man press. No, he did not. More pineapple surprise. Definitely, definitely the way to go here. And like, Hacker already has a hard enough time with this. It's how do you get in, you take a hit, tech yeah. forward, get some ground, but then he has the teleports. They're definitely not helping the case. We try to approach where we can, but it's not working out. Our tag with Sentinel. A little bit more mobility here. Oh, what a throw from B-Man. Real quick work. Yeah, got the launch and the spike. Follow up as well. Happy, happy trigger. 
Going to DHT into Dante. This should be it. Same stuff. Same. Just like that. Puts us into this, the worst spot you could be in. Hagar. Not a great opportunity here. Oh my, the warning shot. I, I know, right? <laughs> He's going to have to force X here, and there it is. See, B Man not even shooting guns anymore. Content oh. to just chill as hard as possible. He knows. Look at him. No way. I, man. I love the thinking behind that, but B Man was already ready for it. B Man really went for it, huh? He did, he did. He wanted to. Oh! You want to be the second ever Deadpool level three, I think. I've only seen one. Damn, but that'll do it after a little bit of uh, a little bit of trolling from B-Man. Not gonna work out in the end. Three to one. He's gonna move a little further into the bracket. And well, being a solid, two solid Novas coming in at the top eight. A good way to start us off. LT and Monday. Off the rip, LT. A partner did a good job timing his beam calls. Obviously, timing your beam versus EM Disruptor, one of the most important parts of this matchup here is Monday, finds the clean touch. Here we go, push to the corner. Yes, got to cash it out here for Monday. You still have the Bionic Man himself. And we get no TG off it, just because, okay. you know, why not? Wouldn't it be weird? <laughs> Ooh, cross under, Javelin, M. For life, man. That, that is so tricky when Monday does that. You just don't know which side it's going to be on. The X Factor gets Spencer out. Leave it up to Dr. Doom. And Monday's not leaving it up to chances. You already know what the Dr. Dooms do to him. Absolutely. And it's just simple and clean. Uh -oh. Gets the block, though. That was a terrifying situation that he manages to keep control of. Though. That's the most important thing. Hey, that's rough, man, because even the foot dive on cross up and you still block it. Hey, it's not how you start typing it. Boy, ain't that the truth. <laughs> One to zero. Monday. Luckily, his start and his finish was great. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Started off fast, ended fast. Fox Dash on the way down. H able to connect here for Monday. On oh, a good start again in game two. Gary, they fall very close to the ground, but they're not quite in an actual knockdown state. So it looks like an OTG, but that is technically a character that's in crumple state that he's hitting with the, uh, with the S after the tag. It looks very low, but he is still technically not on the ground. Oh, Javelin, no mix-up. Just let the Javelin and disrupt the rip. No! Oh, he forgot he had already used the crown bounce. Trying to hit him with a touchdown. That was terrible. And LT, I don't know how he didn't kill both there. Literally, the meat shield of Magneto saved him, bro. There we go. Great throw from Monday here, able to slow it down. You should be able to get Spencer out of it. Yeah, whatever it takes. GC, punch him. He's going to go maneuvers for the timing. Okay. It's like, uh, it's a little like, maneuvers gives him more meter. Punch gives you uh, less meter, but more time. A lot. A lot of math goes into the side of oh, All I know is whatever these players do, it's the right decision. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> High low, good push, block, kind of negate all of that. Could have gotten messy if he didn't. For sure. Photon's got to slow it down here. Great sex factor time. A really good spot to put it, but actually trades out him. And now Monday's just wasting down uh, LT's X factor. Call, push guard at the top of the missiles. Give him some pressure. The double high there. It's another one of those. I talk about this every time we have Monday pretty much on screen. I don't know how to explain that if you don't know what I'm talking about, but that looked like a low. The way he dashed up there, it looked like it was going to be a crouching medium. He sells it really well. That shimmy back was also kind of great. He, he hit him with like a tri, like a legit tri dash light yeah. and an instant overhead. The second one, people almost always go, especially if they go for a diagonal dash and you push block it, the second mix up is almost always a low just because they feel like they're going to be too far away. There we go, Crumple, able to get to the corner here. Monday, man, on a tear right now on the winner side. Yep, there you go. You already know Spencer on cleanup duty, doing what he does best here. The hard tag, bring him right back in. Javelin tries to set it up. We'll get M there from LT. And an even better Dolphin kick. 
Unnake that and make it happen. Until he did it, man. That, that's rough right there. Yeah, it always is. Grapple, right on the way down. And again, just checking him with the light. Ian Disruptor on the cross up, able to make it work here for Monday. There we go, got maneuver set. OPG should be able to keep it the two here. Keep the ADK going. All right, Monday, two away. Attack back in two. Oh, jeez. He got exactly what he wanted, but unfortunately gets crossed up by the human rocket punch. Too good, man. It's too good. Here we go. LT getting some momentum here. You can't always get some momentum. That is exactly what LT needs right now. He needs that momentum on his side. But you still have Monday Spencer. He can't hit the ground. Oh, the oh. up back was so smart, LT. And Monday, I feel like, was trying to hit him with his own stuff, was trying to go for the dash up command, though, which, like we said, LT has been really favoring lately. It, it's rough, because, like, you see the dash in between there, and sometimes it's so hard to react to it because you're just so terrified of Bionic Arm. There's the walks there from Monday. Off and kick did convert, but no. Um, God, finds it off a jab. Sometimes even I, a Nova player, watch the things that Nova gets jabs off of, and I'm like, really? Does he need that? Does he really need that? I felt like it was so far. Nova's a good character, man. I'd rather fight Nova than Phoenix, bro. I'll keep it real with you. But here we go, man. LT able to get the Nova out of here cleanly. On the way down, almost had the zip and the air to air here from Monday. Can he confirm the whole thing? And does. Damn. Godlike. Literally, man. Ah, uh, we're gonna go for the double, the high armor piercer, one more time. And then, and that's like, it's like easy damage for Spencer right there. It's like, oh, I got one down meter. Let's make sure we do it. Mad casual. Oh, good dash out from LT. Not gonna try and eat that mix. Ooh, the flight is smart too. Look, like my thing's trying to slow it down a little bit. He jabbed, he got X. Yep, force X from both players. Overhead blocked. So that's what I would have done. That's the jab. The push block timing too and finds him off the mag blast. I love that fadeaway mag blast right there. And it's just so plus off the like that. Doom, the last one in. X Factor off the table for both players now. Definitely advantage to Monday. Oton trying to slow down on Young Flies there, trying to look for something. Uh oh. That's not it. He can kill Magneto off this. Magneto doesn't carry a lot of health, and you still got access to your level three. Yep, H getting a little bit more damage here. Just like that. Oh, what a block on the cross-up. Andy jumps out, misses the confirm, no. though. He gets hit with the crouching heavy. I don't think he kills here. I don't think he builds too no, He, he can build, build two bars, bars. He yeah. Build two bars. He can get double-double oh, super. It's going to be close. Oh, he goes for the reset. Oh, and he gets the throw to stop the zip attempt. LT. Damn. That's crazy. I, do I have to say it? Uh, yeah, you can say it, bro. SDP, I was thinking it. <laughs> SDP. Ouch. Oh, okay. LT starting off with clean hit this time. It's a tag. I think LT has only gotten first hit like once other than this one right here, man. Mundink has definitely been winning that for. Yo, easy DHC out. Get the setup here for uh, Spencer. Ooh, the nothing there was so smart and makes Monday kind of overcommit. Felt like he had to go for something. Oh, it's kind of optimal, yeah, X Factor, whatever it takes to get Spencer out of here, man. You already know that's one of his best characters. Ooh, that 
What a demanding lead here from LT. X-Factor got the tech at the bottom here, and we're not having any of that. What a throw from LT. And that should be enough to close it here. Mm. Assuming he completes the combo, Monday can be headed down to the loser's bracket. LT. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> I, you know, I get worried sometimes. People be dropping. I've seen, I've seen, I don't want to say better players, because LT, I mean, he kind of the top of his game, but I've seen some players drop some easier combos than that. I love watching Ricky play. True. Hey, you can play Street Fighter, too, I think. Yeah, yeah, Marisa. You got a guy like Marisa, bro. Okay. You know, straight into supers. Actually gets the hit right away. Oh, yeah. Definitely take that. Set up the cold star. Ooh, evasion there from Jason Kiddo. He was trying to be tricky, tricky. And it does work out in the end. He's able to get him to the wall and get him immediately with the lariat. Push to the corner. Yeah, extensions. Chris does have a lot of health here. Oh, he goes for the reset right off of the super. Man, Jason Kiddo. Hard thinking. Able to net him a throw and just get it one more touch here off of one more bar. May not even need it. Tag. Oh, oh jump cancel it, bro. <laughs> no way. Yep, absolutely. Full combo, too. <laughs> the <laughs> I was just thinking about how funny bro. that sounded off the spike. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, Lariat all day. Yeah, I had to X Factor that. Counter? Oh, it was out of meter. It had already committed to a normal, too. Go stalking Blair. All up to Ami here for Jumpman. Oh, good out, oh, man. Good use of her, uh, of her tether box. Tether. Weapon swap there, self save. Oh, hey. just a little too much. Clean stuff. This is kiddo. I, it, it was definitely clean, but you could tell Jason was like, he had to think very hard about what he was going to do and how he was going to make his way in. But here we go, man. Jump man with a clean throw at the start here. This is looking good. He's super. He's super working out really well for these two. Be in with the raid. Good to see you, homie. I know you've been chilling the whole time, but I hope the stream went well. Shout out to my boy. Able to get out of the cold star, though. Yeah, just found the jab. Ooh. Oh, the grenade doesn't make it out of his hands. He can punch boulders, but he can't punch that. Oh, combination punch also doesn't work, and that slot wakes up with a throw attempt. That is like a Chris staple. Yeah, but I like what Jumpman did there. Didn't get greedy, took what you can get, and got out. DHC out. Oh, yeah, Chaotic Plane's coming out. No way. <laughs> Able to catch that was unlucky. <laughs> yeah. Flame grenade, hard tag, cold star, getting a little bit of pressure. Combination punches with the flame grenade as well. Oh, what an it, dude. Cool and collect. He is just a predator stalking his prey. Jason Kiddo, there's no player, I think, in the world that holds up forward with more authority than Jason Kiddo. Because he literally just up forward this week. I mean, let's keep it real. His Hagar plays like an apex predator. He just he just like, up forward. <laughs> he's like And it kills everyone. <laughs> like just just like that in slow, able to connect with the pipe. <laughs> fighting him off, bro. He's fighting his demons. Pillar oh. is going to get the kill of the dog. Wesker going to be left all this lonesome and then the high low. Great tech chase. There we go, man. Get our one. Set point right now. So far on the trade. Magneto to the other side. Threads the throw. So tight. I like that he took a step forward after that, too, to try and avoid the flame grenade from Chris. Kiddo might be able to lock this one down three games straight. 
I don't know how he goes off of this. I mean, luckily right there for Jumpman, Chris has so much health. He gets an extension and he gets another super. No, he misses. So he spikes him down there and gets flame carpet with Lariat and he gets double uh, Dark Matter. Okay, I got you. It would still be close, it feels It'd like. be close. Chris has so much health. Ooh. Oh, he gets it! Dude, that is, that's the legend stuff. Oh, I have seen legend do that exact sequence so many times. But I love he, that. He has a layer of Ami behind it. Bro, Goldstar with it is so strong. Oh no. no, it hits on scaling. All of your bards is gone. And then he gets a, dude, just the light right away. That's rough right there, man. I felt like Jumpman had a lot of momentum going into that. Go, Cash is out off the Lariat here. Should be able to have Wesker dead to rights now. Claire should be able to tag into another character also. So Hagar going to come in for the Forbidden Mix. No, it's going to be Magneto, actually. Still good. There we go, catching the Ami as well, building the two bars. This should be it for Amaterasu as well. And then the lone hero. Chris. Maybe, maybe not the hero that we deserve. X Factor, okay. Pressing the button there. Flame Grenade is coming out, and that's going to check. That's protect him at least. Yeah, Flame Grenade being slick right there. But what an air to air from Jumpman. Okay, drop right there. You've got to kill in situations like that. You're never going to get another touch like that. Instead, you just shoot him. He shot a new guy, bro. Oh, but he blocks the cross up and just mashes Lariat. What a fitting way for a Hagar to win. He blocks it and said, mm, I don't think I'm going to. Just barely <laughs> out of my arm's reach, and I can't see anything on it. He's oh, blocking it. <laughs> Jinky, where are they at? Uh, uh, that's just like, I'm never going to stop complaining about not having a Sick visions coming through. Speaking of visions, the $10 contribution to the match arena, man. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's an accurate representation of what I see. Is sick you you can't see it, bro. I've been seeing sick <laughs> visions. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Man. Appreciate it. Okay, that's through. Gets the clean hit again. Flocker. What can he do? Right now, doing a good job here. Back to Dante. Okay, good evasion from uh, Zempel here. Oh, there we go. Caught a little bit of that invincibility frames there, but a little late on the million carats or a little too early. Somebody in chat said, need a Macharito for Proxy's LASIK. <laughs> Funny story, my eye problems are a problem with my brain and not my eye, unsurprisingly, if you've heard me speak. Yeah, and then Moneybag's <laughs> coming through with the $1.23 to the uh, Macharito. Appreciate you, Moneybag. Thank you, everybody. You see, just super, rather. Stuff in with the swords, the round trip. The airplay. That's a good neutral tool against Virgil. Just besides when he teleports four high sword. Oh. I thought it was going to be a throw. Delayed just enough. Hammer's blocked. Oh, I love the wall clean dash forward. That's very sneaky for the blocker. I feel like a lot of Virgils don't use that. Other than the one mess up with Rainstorm, this looks really natural. This is, we gotta remember, this is Zenful Dante. He's playing it very clean, but that's the blocker. Oh, uh, yeah. Fox Dash H. <laughs> X Factor there, yeah. Off of the high time into the Helm Breaker. Keep it simple. Kuma coming through with Force X. That's the one thing you gotta watch out for. He does have the meter, so he can blow you up with the Hado. Got a kick to blocks here from Blocker. Don't call your assist. You have a big lead right now. Opting for the chip here. Another hot. Oh, and assist. Blocker, no. Oh, but he gets the stinger. Chase down. Does connect. This could be it. Should be. Just got to complete the combo. Keep it simple. You're going extra just because, you know, just to, just to feel something. That's braver than me. I would went high. Ah, bro, that, was, that was Helmbreaker OTG. <laughs> That's why they in top eight and I don't. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Stare down. Buster release. Able to get it here from Walker. What smart thinking to net him that hit. I mean, right now, Zempel, his Deadpool has not gotten to play. Look at the neck. Yeah, there we go. And it continues. 
Good out from Zen right now. They're going to hit by that. Okay. Good evasion of the Tatsu. Really, the buffer really just at the right height. With the H on the way down. Airplay is definitely called. Stand H teleport. Good block from Walker in that sequence. Drive definitely super high durability got projectile, but not going to matter in a situation like that. Oh, oh crucial job there from Blocker, Helmbreaker, but no, Kushar's not going to connect. Checks around, get the air raids, add some of that chip up, get you some sort of momentum here. Ooh, no way! And he finds the launcher off of it. Smart stuff. Goes for the day one combo. It resets. Bro, he he confirmed stand and called assist teleport and able to launch after that. That was ridiculous. Didn't get high enough on that one though. Didn't use the double jump for the confirm. He was too high. Go round trip. Boots up the swords here. X factor from Zen. Is that a snipe? Okay. X factor. Keep yourself safe. Ta to cross up. Okay. Bro, that's too much. Mitch Green mix up. Oh, he came in swinging. Every, every Hawkeye is going to press every time. You called that earlier the last time we seen Hawkeye. I Parker say it play. every time Hawkeye's on the screen, man. He's going to press every single time. He said, What are my options? Swing. Your options are swing and block, and the latter is not a great option for Hawkeye. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. Gotta get, gotta get Deadpool going. I think that's the one thing holding Zenful back. I mean, his other characters are really good, but his Deadpool is where he needs a lot of money. I definitely agree. Gotta just be annoying. Put the grenades down. Throw the guns out. Jam session. Great call. That's confirmed. Age, going for the snap mid screen, sets up the jam session. Great block from Flocker here. Flocker's been blocking that exact mix up for a very long time. For 13 years. Hey, Swords. Really good. Try to call the Tatsu. That was an interesting option. We'll hits him right out of it before he could teleport. Not allowing him any pressure there. Off the throw, probably had to be an OS homebreaker, able to catch it. I wouldn't be upset at all about a snap. Back to that tool. I mean, you take away the jam session, though. But, I mean, our game plan so far has been Ooh. isolating Deadpool and getting the kill, and that has been working. The swing there, trying to catch the tail end of the invincibility. Oh, Killer B is coming down. Nope, cancels hammer, keeps it safe. Box dash H, not allowing it, but Stand M comes through here for Blocker. Okay, I have another shot at Deadpool here. Ooh, Dude, again. it's the Blocker. It is. It really is, man. The meaty X Factor talks on the way down, trying to catch Blocker here. The throw X Factor, yes. And just like that, especially because we got to the corner, should be easy pickings here. Blocker going to be able to close that one out for Koha for the finish. Three to zero. A knockout Zempool here. Seventh place for the homie Zempool, though. Obviously, good placement. And uh, I like seeing him stick with the Dante the whole way through. I think the Dante. I love Bake Off. I'm a I'm a, three, bro. I'm a reality TV show fan. Nah, I'm about the live stuff that's about to happen right now. All right, let's see it. I think already did a pretty good job over the first game session. I feel like. How you deal with jam session really defines your play against not necessarily even just ZMC, but against specifically Yuli. Because Yuli's gonna do some oh. Yuli's gonna do some stuff Whoa. like that, and how you deal with it is how the whole match is gonna go. Because he's gonna he called jam session and just threw reckless abandon. That sequence was so wild yes. and so hard to see, and somehow Mundan came out the winner on that. That, that was absolutely nuts. But here we go, man. Got the Spencer able to take care of the zero here. Mundink is in really good position going into Dante right now. Watching people peel the avocado definitely made me. I, I had to peel it. Oh, session almost connects. Or uh, airplay. Like we've said before with Dante versus Nova, Dante does a really good job of air to airing and anti airing Nova, but they have to give me so early. It can be so preemptive. Absolutely. Airplay is a good tool, but not going to matter, man, because money is Nova. so good. Let's bring it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 
That's exploded. Coming through with the Prime. Two months. Good to see you home. Appreciate you. Break on the way down off the X Factor. Swinging again here. The patience from Mundanks paying off. There we go. DT activated for Yuli. Looking for the round trip. Rock punch to the other side. He's just wasting off that X Factor time. I mean, that's genius. Absolutely. And he's able to get the max distance crouching medium. Monday controlling, uh, controlling chaos for the most part in that first one. Like you said, Yuli likes to outpace people, and he definitely does it with some uh, very aggressive choices. Monday able to weather the storm. Very smart, man. That's definitely the way to do it. You already know how Monday is, man. Precise, methodical type of play. Oh, just speaking about precise, man, that Buster release was on point there. This is a good start from uh, Yuli to get going. Get the Nova out of here. No, went for a reset, but we got a good tech forward from Monday. No way. You got them both? Fuck punch. I think he thought he was going to yeah, get them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we take those. We take those. Ooh, okay. Medium lightning on the cross up there. Off the buster. Not able to make it happen. And the bionic arm is happening. Oh, okay. He missed a couple plinks in a row trying to go backwards from the mix up there. That is super uncharacteristic of Monday because his movement is the cleanest place in his play. Oh, yeah, for sure. Here we go, man. Really starting to get this hit. Whatever it takes, you got to get the reset. Acid rain and the teleport able to make it happen for Yuli here. And that's all you need is you built the three here. And you already know that. He built ton of, tons of meters. Come up. You can see. He's a kill. Absolutely going to sword loops right here. Like, you already know the Sparta brothers are so good together. Teleport same side. Keep him in the corner. I definitely like that idea. Air to air H here. You got a jam session. Keep it going. I think if you go full loops, you're still a tiny bit short. Unless you're like doing like the super optimal DXP launcher loop. You know, he can build one more with another lunar phase. He's going to build another. Once the sword ran out, see right there, you get that. That's more than enough. Yeah, okay. I didn't think it was going to be quite enough. If it like runs out right before lunar phase, lunar phase builds a lot. Of I got to be honest, it's so hard for me to gauge that these days because people drop sword moves so much. So it, I never get to see it, It's definitely harder on uh, Parsec, that's for sure. Ooh, weird cross up. A rocket punch, save his assist. But I mean, Magneto was already pretty safe. Better safe than sorry, though. Oh, oh okay. almost got to check for two. Ooh, H on the way down. Able to catch Nova here. Yuli, man. Looking good. Able to get Nova out here. Magneto's bleeding. So, what do you take? First hit on Spencer? Snap, maybe? Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, oh no. my. He oh. still has them both! The silence, because I was like, no way he's going to get them both again. Brother, that was annihilation right there. Oh, that, that launch is so unsafe. Same, Gabe. We with you, bro. Double zip oh. to fix it again, but he misses the, <laughs> the hard part. He just... Stinger, okay. The air off the teleport. And Disruptor able to get it off the zip. Monday, you're too ridiculous. Bro, I know. The assist I jungle know. was crazy. And that's so hard to do. And he was able to keep him up there. And Yuli's pressing at the top. And Monday just kept it going. He wanted to save his homie, but it was just not happening, man. Of course. Okay, that's an easy punish for Yuli. Monday not willing to part with the X Factor to save Nova here. Extensions. Yes, to the corner we go. Is it enough of the jam session? Yes, it is. Here we go. Ace Lightning trying to cover up the air, but just catches off the rapid slash and another reset with another H Lightning with the side switch. Yuli's just in the zone right now. He definitely is. Got the meter as well. You can get Spencer out of here. You're all off here. It's just Magneto, man. Jesus. Man, he's playing so good right now. Sets up the jam session. And again, so Ganmu off the tele. Oh, no. Nope. He's in the corner. That might connect. X Factor does. Oh, it pushed back the other way. I don't think Monday can anticipate it because I didn't even know that was going to happen. 
Blast in the air, try to slow it down. Just trying to stay right outside of jam session range, but not gonna matter. Yuli coming down with the H. This is out still. You see, he was trying to punish that jam session right there. It's just a little too early on the attack. I mean, it looked like that was what he was going for. Air throw from Yuli, able to make it happen. Conversion off the jam session, push to the corner. Has enough for the lightning loops here. He's in, he's in good situation. Right? And yeah, definitely should be able to close it off in a situation like this. Here we go, game five, here we go. I love how Yuli set that game up. He was setting the pace that time. There was no way Monday could get out of that. He was so fast. And you couldn't tell where he was gonna reset it. Jam session, here we go, Yuli again. Ooh, drop there, X Factor, forcing it in one here. So again, now all Mendink has to do is just run away and play it a little lame, but not gonna matter. Dante taking a lot of damage in that sequence. Alright, that's a release, looking for the end disruptor. There we go, did clip him right there with the Dolphin Kick. This is huge for Mundank right now. About to build the two, should be able to get zero out of here pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, Maneuver gets the kill. Zero dying. It's going to leave just the brothers here, but X Factor makes this such a complicated climb. Oh, it's like the pulse javelin trying to keep Dante in there. Jam session, a little bit of hit off the air to air, but you can't get anything. You have no resources for it. Oh, what a helm breaker. Does connect there. Looking for the box dash M, but you can't quite. You got a good tech four from Mundank here. And again, just so fast, Dude, man. Chasing him down at every single stage, able to get the kill, and now it's all up to Virgil. No X Factor. He might just be done all, unless. No, we, he said we did. Oh, no. Yuli tried to get swords, and. Oh, that's a rough one right there, man. That's true. <laughs> Jump, man. Oh, man. We'll see how he handles it. Let's talk about Honduran. I'm, I'm a little Spanish, too, bro. Porter. Puerto Rican, you know. That's a good one. Oh, oh, I'm very powerful. powerful. That's, right, that's too good attack. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get it. Gunman is gonna start the uh, is gonna start the dog. Ami, yeah. yeah. It's definitely a good call here. I mean, already with the way he's using projectile counter, I respect it. I, I mean, like he's a what buster, you know? He said, "I don't have to deal with a level three buster if you have." We go already starting for jump man. We got the jump loop starting. The missiles gonna be able to get the OTG. A little bit extra damage. That matters so much. It does. The Kami shuffle on the finish there. Cross under S missiles. Oh, that has an orbital hitbox, but not quite that big of a hitbox. I would have loved to see that. Man. It's on the way down. Trying to look again. Trying to lift through the DT, almost had it with the stand M, box dash, H was looking good, but jump man, I mean, not having any of it. Look at that, fade away sword slop, yes, level three here to get Virgil out. The trap, okay. Bro, Dude, he's so able to good. close the distance, had to go for the jab reset though. This Ami is terrifying. Bro. What an X Factor call He's for Jumpman. Everywhere. He's everywhere. It's the way Jumpman plays Ami. It's like, you sure you don't fly, dog? Like, are you sure? Fitman said, anyone know what is happening? Maybe YouTube <laughs> comments will have an answer for us, because I, I sure as hell don't know. Triple arrow, you just low profile it. Like, a lot of your stuff does not matter when you're point Ami. Shout out to everybody on the YouTube comments, by the way. Y'all been really nice lately. I appreciate that. See, now they're going to win tonight, bro. That's cool. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to get Ami out. Slow down, hard tag, maybe? No, we got conversion. No, still in there. And the slowdowns, it'll convert on her own, the self value. Oh, Whoa, that's so that's tricky. That's so tricky. No that's way so you think tricky. she can reach a TAC from there. No way! You got sword from a distance, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chance I'm teching TAC in that spot. All, all 837 y'all got hit. We all got hit. <laughs> all of us got hit. I guess it's because the sword hitbox is so big. That would make sense. 
Off the projectile, almost had it with the stand M here. Defensive chill. Blocking everything. Does go for the up back in that spot. Blocker Ooh. swings. That one's out of the park. Cross under, able to get it here for Blocker. Great momentum boost right here. You gotta get rid of Dr. Doom here. No, the drop is not how you do it. Uh oh. <laughs> That's such a smart tag, and he combos off of it. Oh, that was not what I was expecting from Blocker, but made it work here. Dude, both these players play. Oh, I was going to say playing so good, but a huge drop from Jumpman. That's a game-defining drop. That was rough because, in it. yeah, Jumpman had Blocker uh, as Virgil dead to rights right there, and you're going on to a second character with a little bit of meter, slow down, anything could happen. Good swing from Blocker, though. I like that launcher too. Get the launcher on uh, on Doom. He jumps out of uh, out to safety. <laughs> I love the reflect, man. You're just sending him back. So my homie's in pool. Coming through 35 months, man. I love you, bro. Good to see you, homie. Dante looking clean. It looked natural today. It looked stiff as hell the first time we yeah. saw it. It's looking, it's looking way better. Slow down, age, confirm. Oh, no, it's just too hard. Even with that connecting, I mean, what are you really going to do in combo? Let's get the air oh. to air. The missile's hit. He's not able to get the full charge, though. Coming down. OK, slow down again. He. Oh, I thought we were going to get a super jump. Zero looks so confused. He does. <laughs> Appreciate you, buddy. And thank you for uh, playing, bro. It's always a pleasure to watch you play, bro. I know, right? I thought he was about to do something dastardly. Gets the throw. Look, confirm. Missiles. I mean, it would have worked even without the missiles, but it's funny. Though. Just the awareness, man. Jumpman is just playing this character at a high level. Oh, my God. But Flocker says, you know who else is playing at a high level? Keep this. Yeah, but it wasn't Ami, though. Ami's a, Ami's a thing. You take that every time. Easy X Factor from Flocker there. Cash out. Get Doom. Get Wesker out. Leave it up to Amaterasu here to make this happen. Yeah, silences the crowd. Wakes up, Okami shuffle. Good jump into it. He knows there's a gap in between the fire and the lightning. All right, so the next factor shift is not going to matter. Definitely got to boot up the swords here, but slow is the play. Well, definitely smart. Blistering swords. Okay, snap. That's so smart, bro. Oh, and he gets oh. the left right. Misses the OTG, though. <laughs> Still gets the left right again. Are you serious? Twice? Not enough to kill. He wants to get my or no, he's standing oh. out, stand out. Oh, bro, jump man. Said, it's, it's like one of those things when you're watching and you're like, yeah, Flocker won. But it didn't feel like he won right there. Scary. <laughs> like, that was scary. This is crazy. Momentum is a real thing, man. It's tangible. Good no buster there from Flocker. Good TC to juggle the assist even farther, too. The weapon swap there, reflect as well, not let any of those assists options happen. Great incoming there with the sword and the swap on the way in. Okay. So it's a slow down up. Yeah. Right after zero here. Oh nice, get the physical counter. Look at the oh, almost, almost able to converge a little too high. Okami shuffle looking for the chip. Plenty of time to tag. No X Factor in response there from Jumpman. Maybe you can't convert that. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know the Omni options like that, bro. Take your confirm there. Able to push to the corner. Missiles the follow up as well. Setting it up here. He was looking for an unblockable with the Samurai's Edge there. Traps cross under. Got them both here for Jumpman. He's going to go straight into the super. As you should, as you should. Zero still in there. No, he's out. Air to air, missiles crossing up there. You could have Kami Shuffle and force the X Factor here. Yeah, he's gonna have to slow down. Oh, what a big Even Zero's like, oh. <laughs> oh, missiles are coming down. Okay, good awareness from Blocker right there, then no. No! <laughs> that was so tricky! Okay, so again, Mudo, press this is down, gets clipped. It almost doesn't. Oh, off the trap. Almost had it there. Missiles raining down. 
Look for the X-Factor, frame traps it. Oh, but he drops. No, not against Hawkeye. Oh, he wants to slow down there. Good tech from Jumpman, though. Stand M for Blocker and Jump H. No. I can't believe he expected it. I mean, it wastes the rest of Blockers there. You get some meter there. Get out. Frame trap with the traps. Looking good here for Jumpman. But he idles in sword so often. Gets sniped out of it, though. Almost had it with the jump H, looking to trade back there. Slide able to do it. Yeah, get Doom out of there. You need to have Wesker for this. That was the right call from Jumpman, because you already know Doom isn't going to do much, and you have what uh, Wesker assists, so yeah. you have nothing coming. What are you really going to do? Yeah, at least got missiles with Wesker, you know? Traded. Low profiles ignores the assist. I forgot. It's Doom Beam, too. You can just ignore it. She don't have to deal with it, bro. Triple Arrow doesn't have to deal with any of that, man. It's kind of nuts, like, what options Ami has on offense here with a full team rounded up behind her. Okay. Cash out. Kami Shuffle. You got one more in the tank here. Spear Flank should do it. Wow. Guys back in. No way, bro. X Factor. No DAC, but good break here for Flocker. I, if you get a clean hit on, like whatever it takes, this character has to go. Then we can have a havoc on Flocker all night. Really has been the one. Yeah, this this character has to go. Whatever it takes. No! Oh, oh, oh but it doesn't matter. Gets the second hit. I don't think that's enough. It is way. What am I thinking? I thought. I think I swapped their health bars in my mind. So that ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, great throw here from Blocker. This is definitely gonna be an X. Push to the corner here. KDT. Yep, Luna phase loops. Okay. Ooh. No, has it hit the ground and pop the X Factor. Drops. He's in there all of a sudden. Teleport oh. gets the hit. One more touch. Anything. Hawkeye, though, one bar. Give it meaty. Okay, jump light. I need the loops. What M from Flocker. That that was ridiculous. Didn't kill, though. Oh, oh my god. Out of my way. Jesus, bro. Jumping down forward heavy. What else could you need? It chips. It sets up for your mix-up. It does your taxes. It does your taxes. Does everything, bro. He just shoots them up. It went. Oh, the switch up? Playing strange. Okay. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, I like it. You're going to do this for one game, get dubbed, and come back. I actually. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. He actually nah, didn't exactly. get the second OTG. That's tough. Bolts are too good right there. You know, multi-hitting. That air throw is all you need. That was a lot of uh, a lot of random hits from Kiddo, but the first clean one comes through. There we go. Got the Boston loop started up here for LT. I mean, he's pulled out the Doctor Strange in the past, and he does very well with this team. I, would, I definitely agree that this is probably the second best team. All right, cash out. Take what you can right there. Some kind of AC has get out. That's going to work out in the end. Maneuver's not going to catch, but it's not going to matter. Oh, okay, good dash out there from Kiddo, not having any of it. Yeah, you had the X Factor. Lost Strange, though. And I was just basically playing his old team. This one. Yeah, yeah, this is nothing new, bro. This is regular programming as normal. Hey, gets the throw. Okay. He doesn't have X, though, so he doesn't need a TAC, and there it is. Oh, he wants zip. He wants zip infinite. You can do Nova infinite. Nova infinite off a down TAC is kind of free. the hardest part is the unfly, but it's not that. Hard. Yeah, but he wants zip. Infinite. That's different. A hundred percent agreed, but I know it's not going to happen right here. You definitely, whatever you do, you just got to make sure Dom is out again. This all came off of a throw too, so the scaling is already nuts as is. Did he jump medium a javelin at some point during that? I didn't see it. That's crazy. That's crazy that it was so slick that I didn't see it. That was so fast, bro. After teleport? What the? Well, you know, 
I ain't working out. I'm about to go heat up another Packer meal, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you ain't wrong. That chicken was blood. <laughs> it, was, it was good, bro. <laughs> You already know what I'm doing after this, uh, after the bracket, though. Ouch! <laughs> no oh, way no. you made me sit through all that. All right, Kiddo, 3-2. <laughs> Man, production, give me another factor. I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, just grab him out of it. It was too far. Speaking of factor, we got X factor level the threes here. <laughs> Oh, just a little no, late on the No, they're chaotic. both selling. What is happening? Madness is happening, Proxy. <laughs> oh Madness. God. I don't even want to say anything. I know. They're both I, selling. I, <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Oh, he said there ain't no way he ain't going to drop this. Okay, dead character. <laughs> I know, Tag. six seconds left, though. If you can get a quick hit here on uh, Spencer, you have a chance. Oh, Purification's not it. I do like using Purification in spots like that, though, because Purification teleports you to the ground quick, and you can get a super off it just like that. But one character kill is not quite good enough in a spot like that. He still took this. All right, here we go. Oh, look at the M right there. Bolts trading out. Pipe. Wow. Let the whole animation go through, and it was able to scoop him before he even hit the ground and low poke out the pipe. Ball team loops here for LT. One thing is, is he, he kill off. Now you got the level three activated. You have this is. This is one of the coolest level threes. Yeah. I know I said a lot, but man, bro, I mean, a lot of level threes in this game is just. Ridiculous. Detect the board, get him out. Really good super dump. X Factor, stocking player. Oh, crouch H here for Kiddo. And the craziest thing is that I almost blocked that. He almost blocked really him close. from getting the hit. Check off the bottom into the Lariat here for Jason Kiddo. Yeah, easy. You got to squeeze him right there. Get Spencer out of here. Set yourself up very well here for Nova. That's fine. Max distance. Still okay, I think. Cross up though. What a lariat calls up from Kiddo. Dude, but does alive. his cape not have a hitbox? He, that pulse was so close to him. It roasted his costume. <laughs> so that cape should be burnt, bro. He's battle dangerous. We go Tempest on the cleanup here, Spencer. Oh, getting the throw, getting something going for LT. It's snap mid screen though. Oh, mm, slick, slick, slick. A tail is all the time. We see that one a lot. Good dash out. Not allowing him to get anything started there. It's it's scary because you know he has a bionic arm in the tank. Oh, in the tank. It's out of the tube now. Bomber on the way down. Good blocks from Kiddo. Untamed with a raid, good to see you. Oh, Ooh. that grapple forward is. Look at out of the flight here, kiddo. The blocks with overhead. X Factor is running out as well. T went underground to get behind him there, but it doesn't matter. Kiddo's defense, what a block. Playing out of the mine right now. That was Jocko, man. Good to see you, bro. Oh, no. There's no way he meant for jumping me. The chesto, he there's got no him. way he meant for that. I think he jumped, tried to push guard, and kind of came out. Maybe. Yeah. There we go, got the fall team loops again here for LT. Gotta kill the Hagar though, man. Whatever it takes. He's cool with it, he's cool with it. I mean, yeah, it ends up working out, but still, just leaving Hagar alive leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It, it's like one of those things when Strange is in the back, the whole team's DAT order yes. works perfect. But when you find point, it's really hard to have Spencer in the second position there. There we go, got the full team loops again. LT on a tear here, catching Dormammu. We're up to three. That should be enough for here. Hey, flames and impact. No more, no more time to make a deal. The time has passed. Ouch. Shadow room, bro. Shockwave, press there, neutral, bolts are coming out in time. Okay, X Factor, Strange took a lot of damage in that sequence though, but not gonna matter. LT is the best Nova in the world at spending red. 
He's so good at it. He's right, the best good. Nova in the world at spinning. Definitely, definitely agree with you 100% there. I feel like Yipes had the right idea and did it in pretty cool ways, but I think LT is like, this is like, Yipes is like the prototype. This is like the most insane shit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good at it. <laughs> Hundred percent, Monday. Yeah, That's the exact the founder, order. LT is the best. Father. Coach is the second. Yipes was the prototype. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's exactly what I was saying. We go back at the loops again. Okay, cashing the three here. Hori host, man. Maybe August. Oh, I'm gonna pull out the dark hole, dude. All right, good jump out from Kiddo, though. Even better flight to get out. Chaotic Flame. Okay, we've got blocks here from LT, though. Good for the Dry Nash Light. Great evasion as well. LT is just moving at high pace tonight. Hey, and gets the air throw. Now, find the trumpet. No, oh. he could have woken up with a button, too, but instead just finds the air throw. But an air throw is more than good enough. My man woke up in the loving arms of Dolma. He was on the Mount Rushmore of Novas, but I don't think his his red health usage is on the Mount Rushmore. I feel of this like his one tech, niche topic. His tech was where it was at, right? Yeah, yeah, he's on he's on the Rushmore of Novas. For oh yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a chase down! Ouch! Got him again. Is that a thousand Waluigi's? My man. <laughs> Eleven months goaded. Let's go. Appreciate you coming through. Hope you're enjoying the Marvel tonight. Strong tag. Because I know I am. Dark Matter. Blocked. This could be it for Kiddo, man. I, I just don't see this comeback happening. Oh. Especially not with Team Super coming through like that. Damn. Three to one. LT going to be sitting pretty in the winner's side of things. Looking good, man. Yeah, he's on. Him and, him and Nemo. Him and Nemo for yeah, uh, they, early, early on. They mentioned a lot of stuff. Well, let's see some of the practical application of some of these things that we've uh, come up with. It's going to be Monday. I say this every time we see this matchup. I think Nova bullies Chris. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, this, maybe with Amaterasu, it changes up a little bit. Uh, working out. That's good. He said, have you been behind the man with a cold star? Ouch! Pain is brought, dude. Oh, it's here. Oh, he was looking for a little, uh, little unblockable action right there. Yeah, if your opponent doesn't have an air dash and they don't commit to anything, you can potentially set that up. Oh, back, dude, hit spheres. Oh, that's crazy, <laughs> back man. And the back of his knee was able to confirm that. There we go on the way down, able to get the throw here from Monday. Catching Chris, but you definitely need the two touches here off of throws. It. Oh, yeah, you have to. Uh, I mean, Chris has so much health there. You, whatever it takes. We got Ami just sitting on the backside. Can she get out, though? The blocks. I can't even tell if she was low profile, like walking low or high right there. Oh, no way. Yep, absolutely. And he gets a gunshot in there. Perfectly timed. Hey. That's what we said. Almost had it on the way up. Got the happy birthday. Cashing it out at the top here. Phantom Dance should be close to catching Spencer. Okay, he's going to get Spencer, but Magneto dropped out a long time ago. Need one more bar here. Set up slow. I want to look for a tag if you can potentially find it, but you know Monday is definitely scheming for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to get that for free. We're looking for slowdown. That's the way to go. No, a Kami Shuffle came out. If that hits during the ice one, he uh, X Factors and tags yeah. Wesker. It's so stupid. <laughs> I love it. I'm all for it. Oh. Trade right there. The defense here from Jumpman. Active defense for sure. There's the X on that one. Jumpman. 1 0. That's crazy. I love Monday, but man, jump man, it's so exciting to watch. Oh, okay, Magnum does connect very early. Chris is not a normal human, he punches boulders, man. This is a genetic freak. I throw. <laughs> Art tag, got Magneto going here. Oh no, the drop at the top. Good trade there on the uh, assist, though. 
Okay, super, super, yep, arm. Catch him. Definitely gonna work out. Oh, okay. Yeah, trouble for the dog. Not quite what you wanted to see here. When they break course correction. Animal cruelty is <laughs> Punch a dog twice like that. So whatever it takes to the set right now. I mean, right now, Mundink needs a uh, jump man was very good in game one here. Mundink off to the infinite here. Got to make sure he finishes this to get Wesker out. I mean, even if he were to drop this, this is pretty rough for Wesker. You only have a handful of like little like, pools in the belt right there. He's not dropping. Chad, well done steak is burnt steak. It's burnt. <laughs> It's burnt. You burnt it. All right, look for the gunshot there. Okay, in the flame, cold star, hot cold. Got some icy hot action. <laughs> True. <laughs> What's up? What an air throw. And he gets to throw to the left. That's big. If he actually threw him behind him, I don't know if he could have confirmed it. Uh, because there was a flame grenade on the ground. Oh, the, yeah. Flame grenade comes out and play, pays dividends in the sequences like that. There we go. Speed tackle coming out. Super jump at the top. Self safe. Right decision here for jump man in the defense. Oh, we got a good tackle at the top here. I, I just feel like Monday is like, how do I get in? There just it like is. That. Yeah, you know? I mean, that was, that's like a well-informed play from Jumpman also. We talk about that all the time. When you're a character that has trouble getting past the pulse, uh, jumping into it and just blocking it and getting it out of the way as soon as possible is usually your best option. That looked like, looked like what he was going for. That was like Shades of Logan back in the day when you had to play the Wolverine matchups against that. You jump right into it to block and get him out of there. So it's the faster it's off the screen, the better. Yes. Just like that. Beat him up. Yes. Isn't she a god in her game? Yes. The How are sun these people beating her up? The sun god. I should play that game. Well, Comic Con's pretty good. Nice. What oh. a cross! Okay, speaking of dope. Oh my god. Wesker kind of got beat up. He said, go back to your own game. <laughs> Wesker just trying to. Wesker trying to be god. He ain't got it like that. That'd be great if they like broke the third wall and be like, yeah, yeah just go back. <laughs> we don't need you here right now. All right, we're going to have a swap here for Ami on the point position. That mix up was well done. <laughs> Shut up, Tom. Shut up. Oh, that was perfectly placed there, Tom. <laughs> so perfectly placed. All right, switch up. Time for the dog on point. I think this is the right call, dude. I think dog on point has been the one for Jumpman. Yes. Chris has been like, okay, but this has been like, this has been the winning formula. He said, this is it. Reset there, weapon swap as well. Oh, just too fast with the throw. This was gonna save out though. Jesus, and oh. that only worked because the dog is very short, very long. <laughs> so oh like, my god. Really long in situations like that, so there was a uh, those odd horizontal hitboxes work out. That was tough. Put that out, okay, gets out free. The foot long hot dog, you ain't wrong. Long dog. <laughs> Here we go, Phantom Dance trying to meet. It's going to trade up here. What a Ooh. throw from Jumpman, though. This is on the way down. Yes, jump back. H. That might not be enough. You're going to have to spend two. Well worth it to spend two, though. Glasses are off. Definitely a better situation. Yeah, but you didn't have to do that. You could have just spike, teleport, gunshot to the bottom. Well, it's still what he used to. I don't know. Yo, what an air to air, preemptive. He, I don't know if he meant for grapple up there, but that was kind of sick. I mean, anything can happen. The way Monday is it's so fast, uh, it won't surprise me. Look at the teleport H right there from Mundink. Okay, Phantom Dance at the top. Gonna catch off the S though. I like this, I really like this. Waste the X Factor, dude, that's definitely the right call. Way down, let's put the air to air H. Missiles falling down. Look at the teleports. Almost had it. If you had the bar, that was it. Nice punish on the teleport. The meat is built up. Uh oh, no, not like this, man. Next hit, though, he kills Wesker in one, and then he can kill Doom. Jaguar kick! Zus! <laughs> 
Oh, oh my god. Come on, man. That was wild. That boy's up to something. It's not my job. I can get one, dude, right? Oh. I can get one. Chat, I can have one. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, here we go. Ami on the board, bro. Able to kill. make it happen. That's the trap here. Oh. The way he was just doing nothing was <laughs> scary, <laughs> was right? So scary. Come on, Nick, though. Not deterred. He said, she got to go. I mean, agreed. This is, again, his Wesker is a huge problem. The dog is the biggest problem. Yeah, 100%. Like, Doom is, has felt like his weakest character, and Doom is doing great. Doom is doing what Doom should do. Get in, get out, get Weskers in. Call missiles. Call <laughs> missiles. That's 100% there, man. You know, all you got to do is, if you're trying to fish for something, foot dive or whatnot, maybe photons in the neutral, get Wesker in or what. Ooh, that's not it. May have to force the TAC here. If he TACs, he's going double. Guaranteed. He doesn't crash it. Do you have enough? He gets two 80Ks? Uh, Nova's gone, so no OTG. Got the one here, the 80K might do it. X, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to do the math on how he could do it without X. Well, no, it was smart because you used the X at the end for a sequence he, like this. Oh my god. He dashed underneath with the grapple, didn't actually hit him, and then goes for the throw. One shot, EM Disruptor, S, keeping it safe though. There is a safe launcher off of X Factor, able to confirm. Okay, jump man's back in. One mix. Oh, a little early on the screen tear. Back to even, no X Factors are on the table right here, but Jump Ant is loaded, a level three will do it. Uh, I was gonna say, definitely advantage Magneto in that spot though. Then have to go two along with the combo here, can cut it a little bit short. Keep it simple, man, doing what Magneto does, spike level three, that should be it. Should we? Yes it is, Monday. Gonna be the one to do it, gonna stop the reign of terror from Jump Man, but damn, Two weeks in a row. Monday does it. Yeah, LT. It's like, yeah, we already know. These guys are god like Full bar esports with Ray. Thank you very much. Hope you had a good stream. Hope everything went well for you. But now it's time to get into the losers finals. Nova versus Hagar on the point. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiddo just be doing, doing the most. And if you're not used to playing against him, I feel like you forget. Hey man, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna catch it real early, and this Nova is not gonna play. This so. game plan is so simple and so fun. It's oh, yeah. so simple. He knows the options here, sets it up. You see the little DI jump back because he knows the spacing so well. He took the hit and it worked. First time for everything. Holy. One thing will take that, man. Easy X Factor here, using the two, whatever it takes to get Hagar out of here. Okay, here's her arm. Yes, more than enough here. Dude, and the reset just because. In between all that and the end of this Disruptor, he did the little check light, dash forward, cancel on it, goes low. He gets an OTG there too if he doesn't die. Oh, but he missed times his grapple. And man, very rough here, off a of throw though. So uh, depending on uh, Jason Kiddo's sequence, what he wants to do here, I don't think he's gonna spend the three. Ooh, oh, no, no, but he got EM Disruptor. That's rough. And another drop. Okay, off the H, into the grapple. Here we go, Monday. He could do it. No, didn't he get the three, but... Kill. He thought I was going to get yeah. three. Still okay. He still... He has the wheel saying, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Larry at the start. Had to X there. Uses the Dark Hole. That's... That's a little rough for Kiddo, letting it rock like that early on. You're going to be all out of X Factor. And Mundane, you already got the hit on you here. Our tag, yes, we got the S follow up here. Definitely going to possibly look for a TAC or a reset. Now nah, we're going to spend cash. I mean, he has. Uh, he has Spencer. He has I always, OTG. I always, I always do that. Yeah, me too. I always think it's not enough, and I'm like, oh yeah, Spencer's back. Spends it at the end, so I mean, like, that's usually a good call, so you can have your X Factor going into the next character instead of using it earlier. 
Oh, oh, not afraid at all. Again, like I said, it's just like, have you played against him recently? You forget that he's that brazen. He'll just do stuff like that. He's coming after you, bro. No I mean, pulse, I'm clinking it. Oh, what a dash up. Larry able to catch Nova. Lisa, how do you like your Nova's? Well done. Ooh, that's on the way down into the Mac Blast. Monday. Bro. And he builds up the third bar. Looks like it's going to be all up to Hagar. Okay, this incoming mix-up is going to decide a lot. You get one good shot, and then you know what's coming. Uh, 53 seconds of neutral? 53 seconds of that, that metal thing. That metal thing. Look at that. He said, I'm good. I'm good, homie. I, I, don't, want, I don't want it. We're cool. Go back to your mayoral business. Good cross-up, though. Going to find that clean hit. Yep, got it out here. As much damage as you can. Got the maneuvers, got the setup. He didn't even drop in. Nope. That's how much he respects nope. Jason Kiddo's auto. Not worth the risk. Cool. Look at that Magneto. <laughs> got the hit on Magneto. He said, don't worry, homie, I got you. My boy Magneto said, I don't even know where I'm at. He said, they jumping me, bro. He said, the ref didn't even come out and stop the fight. <laughs> what is this? He said, he's there jumping me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's one guy. <laughs> Spencer said, I got this. <laughs> Left my man back there. Here we go. Great start here for Jason Kiddo, man. I don't think he's been able to catch the Nova yet, so this is a good look on him. Get your stalking first sets. He took the hit again. <gasps> Dude, you is gotta that? just pipe. You gotta just pipe. Oh, oh no. There, oh no, he blocked out of it. Dash forward. Oh. That just that just felt messed up, bro. He, he was able to get the jawbreaker on the other side, but he missed. Pass the DHC. You gonna keep it safe, bro. Keep it safe. Oh, look at the chase down. Terrifying. Here we go, DHC out. Set up the stocking player. Get Magneto on the run here. Just, he had a shot there. That was good. That was good movement. I mean, he forced in on his terms there. So where the point where like Kiddo couldn't set up. Look at that Monday just moving right now. Kind of the same thing, though. Almost got the hit. They got to be careful how you call your assist. Nice throw. Up the jump loops as well. Not enough to kill here, so whatever you set up. Gonna cash it, though. Jump M. Try to keep it meaty off the tech out. Look at the H down, anti-air jab here, but Mundank making it happen. Push to the corner, three bars intact here. Definitely should have enough to get the kill. If not, it's it. Still okay, launcher will do it. We take it. Cross under, ooh, what a scoop here for Kiddo. Not going down without a fight, let's go. Oh, this is scary. It's still scary. Can't get much off of it. Well, you get dropped the cam. You get a full combo, brother. Oh! He gets all of it off of it. We're TSN again. We're going up. Oh, I got destroyed! Oh, no. That's rough right there. Oh, the cross under. It's so Jesus. fast! Got the zip loops. Gonna build some meter here. I mean, whatever you, it takes to not have to spend bar here is perfect because you're not wasting time. You need this time to catch Magneto. Oh, good. There, there I am there. Great blocks from Kiddo. Time is dwindling down. I thought oh. he was going to up Crapple. Oh, but I think he's out of time at this point. I don't think there's much uh, Monday can do. Oh! I don't think he has enough time. Yeah, he doesn't have enough time. Even in Marvel time, it's just not enough. Yeah, timer. So timer is stopped during level threes, but not during level one. Yeah, level. That's like that's like what we were talking about with Sentinel earlier. It's very unfortunate that some characters don't have a level three, because any yeah. other character, or I guess Magneto, would be the one if he hit that level three right there. That's game. I'm surprised he didn't go uh, Bionic Arm right after the first Piercer. Double Piercer felt like it was a good amount of damage to get out of it, but 
The scaling. You gotta arm him immediately. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. Send the pulse up, jump right into it, trying to get that off the screen as quick as possible. And disruptors definitely help out with that. Nice. Everything falls into place. It usually does when a dolphin kick connects like that. Here we go, going for the snap mid screen, trying to bring in Magneto. Wants to get rid of the EM disruptor here. Dolphin kick. I mean, right now, Jason Kiddo's evasion is on point with Magneto. He's so hard to catch. Good trade. Ooh, he was able to block that. I cannot believe he blocked it. All right, Nova. Nova's broken. Nova's broken. That was really good. We're right back to square one where we started. And the trying to break it, set up another pulse as well. Yeah, you're going to just look for that spot where maybe a crouch end could work out very well. Oh, giving them a look. Oh, and Dolphin Kick is going to do it. And now you got what you wanted. Magneto's in the game. Look at that delay. Yeah. Try to get something a little tricky. That's like that's like level four of the meta, bro. He, he's like, I could have went in, but you're expecting it. Oh, and wow. the javelin was there too. It was a guaranteed kill at that point. Okay, there we go. Chaotic Flame and forces X Factor for H off the teleport, trying to hit it, but. Oh no, just messed up here for Mundink there. Had him dead to right, the human rocket. X Factor dwindling down for both players here. Mundink's first, because it's X Factor level one. And 10 seconds with that. Okay, can't we do yep. that? That's good. Save some meter here for the stocking player. I mean, if it's going to be the way, it's with this. Oh, he got caught in his flight there. Didn't actually make it to the ground. That's rough. Damn. Two characters are really feel like they're going to be the deciding factor here. Try to go for the crouch medium for an anti air. Gets him with the fish hook. Not even close to enough. He's going to set up with the tech at the top. Air. Oh, no way. Jason Kiddo. Low tier shot coming through. Appreciate you. 20 months for the homie. All right. Kiddo trying to force the game. Five years. So close. One deck, any hit will kill. Can build level three, and Magneto can turn anything into a full combo. <gasps> Drops it twice. Wow, kiddo, three hits right there. Able to Dude. make it happen. We're off to a game five. It took him so many tries to get that to work. And I know Monday gets frustrated because both of them kind of punting that way. Dude, that's, that's like one of those things, man. When you're fighting, you already know the nerves are up there, bro. Like, you're fighting, bro. For the headbutt, pushing in the corner. Mundink looking for a clean way out. Good blocks on the pipe on the way down as well. Again, Dolphin Kick. I mean, the placements of the EM Disruptors from Jason Kiddo has been on point. It's preventing him from getting popped here. Oh, yeah, special knockdown. Nova, you're just gone, bud. Not long for game five, that's for sure. No helmet can protect you. You need a new Ooh, okay. That was kind of disgusting from Kiddo here. Yeah, easy X Factor, whatever it takes, get Spencer out of here. This is gonna have to be on the back of Magneto here to force, you know, him to get himself in the grand. Damn, it's like that. Time to guess for your life. X Factor, wow, what a decision from Mundank here. X Factor gets the dash out, forces throw, gets Magneto out of here, okay. Okay, good decision to jump up into the lariat so yeah. level three does not come out and you have to force Kiddo to go elsewhere. Play oh. carpet, hard tag, almost. Carpet was so smart. All right, X is gone, but you are loaded with five and you might be leaving with five. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna die from this one for sure. Dark Hole gives him that extra bit of damage. Tenderize the shins a little bit. Very nice. Well done, Magneto. Wow. Jason Kiddo. Three to two. Brought that one back from the from the trenches, too. He was kind of getting shy crazy hard. Two gifted tier ones. That's the homie grand. Let's final. go. It's time to get it started. I mean, we already saw Kiddo handle a Nova once, but uh, 
Maybe not going to be able to do it again here. Great throw from LT to set himself up. And you never know, man. It, it depends on how LT's playing right now. The Strange is looking good earlier when we got the watch in, so let's we'll see how it turns off. I mean, I know you're not going to be able to get the kill off of this. This is Hagar. That's, this is big boy health right here. Come on, he might He's not. Hell, he missed out. He's not going to empty the bank, though. Three bars for nothing. Here comes the super. It is not going to get a punish. So that's okay. Going back to neutral is fine. You should be down a character and getting mixed here. Yeah, absolutely. And now Jason Kiddo's in the driver's seat. Off the throw here. Able to get the confirm. Now do you X? Yeah, see, that's the question. It's like, okay, you know, the momentum was definitely in no LT's favor right here. Now Kiddo taking it away. The only scary part is that the team is in the best order for LT right now. Strange is not the best character to have in next, but Spencer is certainly his strongest anchor option. I wouldn't be upset at all about a snap. It I wouldn't would, be upset at all. Oh, no, we got to drop. Oh, never mind. Just clean him up. Yeah, he cleaned it up, man. You take that. You don't You don't mess with it twice. Here we go. Spencer did not even get a chance to hit the ground. Larry coming out right on top of LT. Enough. Level one, level two. No. We have Hagar in second, so yeah, cash up the three. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. What do I do? Great question. One to zero. It's five more. And he's going to switch right He away. said, this he ain't said, it, bro. This ain't it. <laughs> he's not giving away a whole set. Fall team loops are so sick. That is actually one of the coolest things Strange does. No more palm loops. So back to the serious stuff. He just looks better when he plays. His, and it's so surprising, isn't it, that someone looks better when they play their stuff that they practice the most? That's crazy, Isn't that dude. so I, weird? You know, I don't know how that works. Chad, dude. do you guys think it's weird when people look better when they play their main stuff? Isn't that such a weird thing? So put it in the chat. Let me know. <laughs> Drop a comment down below on YouTube if you think it's weird <laughs> that people are better with their main team. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> Super kills. Hagar's dead. LT's look good. Water is wet. Did you borrow our fish wet? <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different question. Yes. <laughs> well, speaking oh, of my God. Jason Kiddo. He ain't wet. He's good. on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's well done, bro. Teleport. Easy yeah, X factor, nice fix, yeah. yeah. Because you still have your dash, like I said before, if you don't have your dash, you have to wait a really long time to hit the ground and super jump back up. There's some particular rules you have to follow to fix those combos. So with the balls, good dash out from Kiddo, not having any of that. It's like the fortunate thing when you got an air dash character. Sometimes you don't have to eat any of that. You got to eat that stand jab from LT, though. Yep, you already know the deal, man. We're off to the I think water is wet or dry. I think that water is the thing that makes things wet. Huh. I just want to know the fish wet. What you think about that? Person? Are you <laughs> wet if you're submerged in water, or are you just underwater? I don't know. You tell me. Nice heart attack. <laughs> yeah, it was a good heart attack. <laughs> Go, should be able to get the kill on Hagar. Easy peasy. Go, got the extensions as well. There we go. Spencer coming through. You already know the deal, man. About to put a bunch of damage here. Should be able to get Hagar out as well. We got him oh, now. No. God. Okay, it doesn't matter though. Choke slam. Oh, cross under javelin call here from LT. So sneaky. Gonna hold on to the X Factor. Confident he can do it without it. Definitely respectable. There we go. Extension, photons. The dash out from Kiddo, man. He, he, I'm surprised LT has to put a meaty on the incoming of that needle yet, because he's dashed yeah. out twice. He, he's letting him dash away for sure. Got the knockdown, though. Should be able to take the kill off of this one. And that is going to make it two to one now. LT said, Ooh, with the I had to just let you look at the strain for a minute to see you thought you knew. I, I think LT is saving the meat for this game. So? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he X-factored right away. 
Gotta take the air out of the stadium, bro. The only way is to take the mayor out of it. Oh, got the photons. One more, and Hagger is out of here. LT2 away. Well, X-Factor definitely changes things, but still LT, huge advantage. The swing there. Oh, what an S. Absolutely yeah. beats the beam. You can arm that. Maybe force X, no? What a scoop there from Jason Kiddo. Yeah, easy X-Factor off the throw here. Yeah, Gengar Spencer is the most important part for sure, as we've talked about multiple times. You still got X-Factor 2, so you could definitely do this. You know, you put Dark Hall there with Magneto on the backside, that's pretty hard to deal with, especially when you put in the corner like this. Flight has to block in the end. That block actually maybe helped him there. LT Kep wasn't able to get anything afterwards. Kept him safe, man. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Can you confirm off of it? Miss. Oh, he does make it in time. Oh. I thought he missed it because of the jump. That was so sneaky from Kiddo there. Super jump confirm. Adjustment. Look. Oh, almost LT. Almost a crazy fix. And that was hard. He had to hit the back dash M on the way down, and they had to be at the perfect height there for Stan Light to hit. Tackle does catch the mag blast. Wow, kills him. He just dies from just the tackle. Left, right. Dude! Oh, he's going to set up TAC, maybe? There it is. Okay, I mean, assuming we can complete an infinite here, only needs like one full rep, and it's over. I think we're going to get three. No, I just need cash up to two. The Nova. That should be it. And LT is going to take it. LT, your champion for this week's Tampa Never Sleeps. Good stuff. He's able to uh, take it in the first set. Said no resets. Please, no resets. He didn't want to do it. We're, we're done. He said, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for a reset. <laughs>